a yes. period. <laughs> Wait. And there was a period <laughs> where I was working as a horse trainer in high school and a little bit after. And you think you know bad smells, but you really don't until you've been around animals. I think animals David that knows. Long. I, I think, think David I, knows. I think I know. <laughs> I don't know because. Oh, I don't, I'm trying to think of how to word this. It's not even like a story. It's just like a thing that happened. Okay. I, I have other gross horse stories. So I was out and I was bringing out, you know, like feed to them, going to the stalls, fill it up with food. They start eating it, and they had a horse named Newt, and I think he was a, I think he was a paint. He was he was getting pretty old. And we had a barn dog. It was like a, we had like a collie. I don't remember the dog's name, but what, whether or not the dog survived this is kind of the question. Oh. Because I went to feed Newt <clears throat> and, you know, the horse farted. And, you know, usually that's whatever. Horses, you don't see them ever not doing that. But then my nose have- started to burn. It oh. felt like oh. my nostrils were like rubbed with chili peppers. And I knew something was very, very wrong. <laughs> and then the thing is, the smell hadn't hit yet. It was just this burning. And then the smell hit. Oh, man. I was kind of convinced it was some sort of attack at first. Or like, I was about to say, that's, not, <laughs> that's exactly what I would think. Yeah, I, it didn't feel right. So I ran out of there. And then the dog is falling after me. And then the dog throws up. <laughs> this is an animal that eats garbage. <laughs> oh no, that's so. And so the dogs say, "Poor dog." All the other ho- the horses seem upset now. They're kind of like we're really getting the salt. <laughs> Seriously, <stuff."> Newt. <laughs> and I thought something was wrong. I and so some- I like I, d- I think something was wrong. <laughs> like I thought it was like a chemical spill or something because it's like. I was like, there's no way. And then a week later, the horse died. So it's like, oh no, who knows what happened that day? I mean, he, he oh was, he was getting old, but it's like, oh my God. Like that really changed me as a person. I, I have lots of horse stories. No. Let me pick a horse story. Oh, I could pick, um, Loco. That's a good story. I like that. It sounded like you were just reading off a list. Like which one? Of these? I, I was kind of going, there's a lot of horse stories. I got you. Go ahead. Okay, so when I started, I was maybe 13 or 14 because we have like a local barn slash horse center, you know, for, you know, kids get riding lessons and they yeah. have shows from time to time, all that garbage. And so I wanted to learn how to ride horses because my great grandpa, he had like a farm out west and I knew a little bit there, but I was like, I might as well see if I can still do it here. And they said, okay, you're going to... um. You're going to ride that horse over there. And you look like a big white, kind of like a draft horse. So there was this absolute polar bear of a horse. Right. And, yes. And they said, oh, you're going to ride that one. And I'm like, okay. And they saddled him up and all that. And they put me on him. And I'm like, oh, you know, what's his name? Oh, his name's Loco. Oh, and I'm like, oh, oh, no. I know it. And so I look at the instructor like, oh, Loco. It's like, yeah, well, we, he came with the name when we bought him. We didn't name him Loco. I said, why is he called Loco? Oh, they wouldn't tell us. They didn't speak much English. It's like, oh, okay. Hmm, wait, what does Loco mean in Spanish? <laughs> loco means crazy. Thank you, Mandy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I got to experience what Loco meant, and I got to be the discoverer of that. Because I went on a trail ride with um, was like the instructor and a few other kids. I think I, I think there was one other guy there. Most of them were preteen girls so we were we were having a good old time Mm-mm. and loco was fine other horses were doing horse things like being afraid of branches and jumping at shadows and just being horses and then loco saw a butterfly it was oh. a monarch butterfly because i remember cause it flew it flew across my vision and i thought like oh cool you know it's a fucking butterfly and then it flew around me and it went by his face and loco was convinced he was going to die <laughs> And so this horse <laughs> took off as quickly as he could into the forest with me on him. I don't mean like he started like moving around. I mean, he just bolted just and I'm on him and every branch in the country is hitting me in the face when we're going through this forest. Is that why you wear the helmet? And I'm like, you know, what? I'm just like, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, that's why you wear the helmet. But, you know, what's coming at your face, you, 
it doesn't help a ton. Yeah, I got you. I was actually making I mean, a joke about your avatar. It's not funny. Go ahead. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, that would have been helpful at the time, but yeah. I'm sorry. We, Go we ahead. Can, we can't. We can dream talking. about it. <laughs> That's the opposite of the title. Anyways, so I'm going on this horse. I'm trying. I'm like, you know, I'm a kid, so I don't know how to do. It. I'm just going stop, stop, stop. And that's panicking Loco more. And he eventually does stop. Not because I told him. I think he just got tired. And so when he stopped, he decided that the butterfly was going to catch him. And this was the end. And so he decided as a horse to just, just lay down over? and accept yeah. death. Yeah. He, he decided. To, he didn't fall over. He just stopped. He kind of said like, okay, I'm going to die because the butterfly is going to catch me. So he kneeled down. And he just kind of laid down and accepted death. But I'm on it. <laughs> And this could have been really, really bad, but there was something about the, um, like the land we were on so that it was at this weird angle where like my leg was under him, but I wasn't actually Ooh. being crushed by him. Okay. Because it, it could have been very bad, but he's yes. you know, like, 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 okay, fuck this. And he lays down and I'm like, oh, cool. I could kind of crawl away from him. <laughs> and so I'm trying to like unhook one of my feet from the stirrups on the left side, the one that's like still up. And I do that, but I guess the feeling of my leg going across like his, his one of his flanks. Oh. So I'm trying to like slide off him. He's convinced that's the butterfly beginning to feast on him. <laughs> oh and so God. he doesn't start kicking. He just screams as loud as possible. Jesus. <laughs> At this rate, I'm convinced it's a nightmare. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, like a horse scream. It's kind of like a whinny, except, well, you know, you, you know it's kind of like, it's mm -hmm. kind of just a scream. Yeah, yeah this just, is just a going right. Yeah. <laughs> slow ah, yes, crap. now I see. <laughs> Thank you so, for the demonstration. <laughs> yeah, I needed so, it. So it's little 13 year old me slowly, like, trembling from going at 90 miles per hour on this gigantic horse. And 90 just, miles per hour, wow. <laughs> It felt like that when you're that small. Yeah, for sure. Of like, course. Speed scales. I get it. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll just gently get off the horse. And now it's just screaming and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> like, <laughs> no wonder old fucking horse girls are crazy. You have to be to deal with this kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I, I, that's actually it. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> So I get off of it and I'm like, just kind of laying down next to it. Horse girls are loco. <laughs> and then he stops screaming. And then he farts, and they just stands up, and he's fucking fine. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Like, I guess that butterfly didn't want to kill me. Oh god! Yeah, just all like, <laughs> and then I heard a little like, and then he stands up, and he looks at me like I'm fucking crazy. So like, when are we gonna go? When are we going back to the bun? Did you go back? To the Why'd bun? you take me out here, idiot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah like the horse he's like full-on staring at me like oh this is your fault like i'm lost in the woods now you have to bring me home you drove me into the butterfly yeah that's exactly <laughs> what it's, he takes off he runs off into the woods but you know it's my fault that i got the horse lost because i guess i, don't, I brought the butterfly I, to make him sad in fairness you did bring the butterfly to make him sad i did it, i don't, I don't think the horse was thinking at all but horses just don't think. That's true. I, mean, I take exactly. that back. They oh. have a really weird way of thinking. Yeah, <laughs> like this butterfly is going to feast on me. Better scream. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine had this thing. He was always asking me, and I never did it. This was like a few years ago. He was like, oh, I heard a rumor that if you throw a blanket over a horse's head, it will just accept that. that it's dead, and it lays down and dies. I don't it's think that's true. When I heard things like that, I started just, I guess this was later when I was actually instructing the writing. But I just started lying to, um, I shouldn't say that. Well, no, I was. I was just lying to people about how horses worked. Because I got really tired of the questions. That one's going to pull so, the axle. Be careful. No, it, it was worse than that. Like, Wait, what? Like kids, would, kids, would ask, kids would ask me questions about like, um, like, oh, like, do horses sleep standing up and stuff? And someone brought up the blanket thing. Like, oh, if a horse can't see, does it just lay down and die? I was like, oh, yeah, actually, horses are kind of like sharks, you know, like if they stop moving, they'll just fucking die. <laughs> oh, my God. 
He's like, oh, that's why they're always running. When, yeah. when you, when you, <laughs> <laughs> did, did when you, you not when show you this kid? Up, did you oh not? When God. you brought up the person asking, do horses sleep standing up? I immediately thought, I immediately thought I would tell them they sleep on the ceiling like bats. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mean, you not show them the stables? Could they not just instantly think like, wait, are these all, all these horses just standing still? No, I said they're always head. tapping. I said they're always tapping their feet. Oh my god! Because we whenever you're in a stall, you can always hear them like kind of shifting around. So like, they hear that tap. Like, hear that? That's them tapping their feet so they don't die. Like, oh, they're dancing. <laughs> <laughs> don't sleep they just dance and they're like sharks they try not to die they shut off parts yeah. of their if brain they, if a the horse time. stops walking that's another thing the laying down thing Does like oh combust? like is that horse sick he's laying down like that horse looks like it's dying it's like uh no actually he's just sort of um absorbing the sunlight like what do you mean <laughs> like oh if they want to grow their winter coat they have to lay it out in the sun for a while <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Those people and you were those a, people might you were, still be repeating that information to people to this day. You're an instructor. <laughs> you're instructing these people how to. What, one of those horse. came back on me because there was one thing I would tell people about, like what happens if the horses can't graze, and I said they would catch and eat small animals. Well, that turned out to be half true. <laughs> I was about to say that's what? true, Mandy. <laughs> Horses Just, absolutely wait, do. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Horses absolutely they, do that. What do they eat? Small animals. It, it, In w- case of what? A, I went to another farm and they had a, um, they had like a divide between, like where they had the chicken coops and the chicks. And they had a divide between that and the horse pasture or else the horses would like snack in them like popcorn. <laughs> yeah. No, horses, wow. horses are vicious. That's fucking great. That's great. Why is that great, Cameron? That's funny. You like that popcorn? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, like, it's energy, but the problem is when we had one horse that was just killing for sport, and that was sort of a warning sign. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Was that Loco? What was that horse's name? (laughs) That actually wasn't Loco. I think think his name was Cookie. Yeah, I think it was was Cookie. Fitting. Well, he was was a big black horse, and he had a few white spots. Why does he got to be a black horse? I don't know. Well, he came with the spots. He was Cookie. Okay. But I think his sta- his yeah, show name fine. was probably like Dances in the Moonlight Forever or whatever the it. fuck they Dances give show the names. Forever. I would have really liked if Loco would be like killing small animals, but he's afraid of fucking butterflies. <laughs> oh, no. It's like his like, fucking kryptonite. <laughs> I'm kind of convinced Cookie was baiting birds into his stall like an orca whale. It's kind of insane. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Holy Christ. Shit. Because... We would, it was kind of, it looked like an owl had killed like a, a mouse or something by his area because we just found like a pile of like bones and feathers. It was all mangled up and we didn't like- understand what was happening until one day I heard the really loud whinny and then like a crunch wood vibrating sound. And I saw that he was stomping on birds that were coming into his stall. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's not even shit. hunt. That- wow. That's just murder. The thing is. <laughs> Can horses he be was com- sociopaths? He was com- the horse was completely fine everywhere no, else. No, no, he the wasn't. The kids loved him. He was Cookie. Everyone loved it. It's like, ah, oh, that's Cookie. Because like, can I pet Cookie? I'm like, sure. Just, just don't go in his stall right now. Just you can pet him from out here. As he's, <laughs> as he's killing, <laughs> don't go in birds. the morgue. There oh were kids, God. little eight-year-old girls, having magical horse moments, petting his nose when he was standing on untold thousands of dead birds. <laughs> just like oh a sea God. of them behind the stall. Damn. <laughs> Oh my god. Shit. Horse girls scare me more. <laughs> well, than they, they didn't ever know. Had. They didn't know. I know, but no, they but a, eventually a horse girl will. would have to know about that and be okay eventually, with it. Eventually they will have to know about that. Say, like, I have to tell you the truth about Cookie. It's time to open the stall. We need door. to talk about Cookie. <laughs> Just this <laughs> Just mass so, grave of pigeons and crows. Never seen Are you not going to talk about Viper? Uh, should I talk about Viper yes. on this? Do the people want to Okay, yes. you of course prob- I want to hear about <clears throat> Viper. I- I'm sure some of the people listening are going to know who he is, but there was there's a rapper named Viper, and he made oh, the famous single. Horse. No, he made the famous single "Yule Cowards Don't Even Smoke Crack." He- he's made a few songs that have <laughs> gotten some attention song? over the years. Is he on Spotify? Um, yeah, he what's, is actually. Wait, what's his name? Just Viper. Viper. Just type in "you Yule Cowards." You will, you will, like, cowards? Like, you will, yes, Y O U yes. apostrophe you, LL cowards. Ah, uh, you'll, you'll cow. That's oh, him. there it is. You'll cowards don't even smoke. Cr- 
<laughs> Are you oh, laughing man, at the album looks... art? Yes. Yeah, that's him. He, yeah, he looks like he's. So, Mandy, do you want to do you want to talk? He's an associate of mine. Yeah, do you want to talk about your business relationship with Viper? Yeah. So oh. a few. <laughs> so a few years ago, he started doing. Um, he started like outsourcing making music videos because he was trying to get his stuff out there. And so I thought, you know, why not? I'll email him about it. And he selected me to do, what was it called? I'm looking it up. (laughs) That there's a stash spot. I sell a one cocaine. That was it. And so what is it called? I sell a one cocaine. Oh, nice. The music video is I sell number one. It's somewhere out there. I'll look later. But anyways, so he's like, okay. And I talked to him. I sent him some samples of like video editing stuff I've done. And I said like, Hey, I want to basically work with you. And he said, okay, that's great. I'm going to send you some raw footage. I'm going to send you like a high quality of the song and I need you to make a music video out of it. And he had like really bizarre instructions included in it. One was like, Oh, he had a really good one. Oh, did you find it? Yeah, I found it. YouTube account is terminated. Whoa, that's the one you, that's the one you actually linked to me. Is it? Oh my God. (gasps) Is the video gone? The video oh, is the evidence no! gone? Is all the evidence gone? Can we not talk about the Eve Wait. Online ships? You hidden it? What? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no way! way. No, what? I'm so I'm so sad I missed it. Oh wait, it's okay. Someone made a 10 hour version of it. What? <laughs> okay. Someone Keep... looped my music video for 10 hours. Okay, but anyways, go on with your story though, yeah. Yeah, so he had instructions like this girl has a nice rack, but her face is kind of buttery, so you could cloak it in production. And it was like, it was spelled like a third grader. You could cloak it in production. <laughs> exact words. But her face is kind of buttery, but you can cloak her in production. Like, oh what do you God. mean cloak her? Did you replace her face with an EVE Online ship and cloak it? I, I, thought, of, I thought of doing that, but I didn't. So anyways, when I... He sent me a video of himself actually making what looks like crack rock in his kitchen. Like, he was using the ice cubes and everything. And, and I'm seeing this happen, and I'm like, oh, fuck, like, he's actually doing this, and he wants to make a video out of it. <laughs> and so, I'm sitting on this... Wait, okay, d- how much did he pay you for this? <laughs> we'll come back to that. Okay. But, so, I'm looking at it, I'm just like, oh, God, you know, like, he, he's actually making drugs in this, what do I do? And so I said, I'll, I'll just make it anyways, but I'll make it, I'll make it a little funner. So, you know, no one will think it's, it's real. And I, I didn't know how. So I was like, uh, I like the game Eve online. Maybe I'll just sneak some of the spaceships into the shots and no one will notice. How does that make it look like, I, what, okay, hang on. I have, I have questions about your reasoning because you've never explained so... why you put the Eve online ships in there to me before. In what way does hiding Eve online ships in this video make it look like he wasn't making crack cocaine? Oh my god, that okay. is ex- he totally is making crack cocaine. What the fuck? Yeah, you can see. I like how you blurred totally it. Is. I like how you blurred it in some places just to be like, oh shit, that looks too real. A bit of fucking yeah, there, there were t- you can see me You can see me cranking up the bokeh when I'm like, uh oh, uh, yeah. let me just blur that out a little bit. <laughs> and s- yeah, so it's like This will be linked in the description, by the way. Everyone can find this. Yeah, so is that I, I figured that, like, girlfriend? if he got in what trouble, he could be like, hey, you know, <laughs> it's just a joke. See, look, it, there's spaceships in it. It's a ha-ha funny video. I can't but see for anything. His... Okay, wait, hang on a second. Mandy is... Okay. Which girl is the buttery... There's one Which the girl first... has the buttery face? The one with the mask on. Okay, there's the one with the bandana. bandana. It's, in the, it's, in the fir- right? it's in the first second yeah, of the okay. video. You can so see it's a the shape. girl with the bandana like, on. Yeah. Poor butterface. She, she's been in other videos, but... Oh, yeah, so I was the... like, yeah. And th- there's a few of them throughout it. There's, They're all over the place. <laughs> He's a Houston-based <laughs> rapper, my lad. Yeah, so I'm like, if he gets, you know, if someone's asking questions, he go, you know, oh, it's a haha joke video. But, you know, his, his boys on the streets are going to watch it, and they're not going to fucking notice that. Like, no one's going to s- see those. Wow. I mean, that's a nice kitchen. Playing chess. Honestly? Honestly, that's a very nice kitchen to make. G- 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 yeah, if you go to um three fifteen in that, it shows that you can see like, oh, there's there's me. I edited that. 
So yeah, this is, this I, is really good. This is really yeah. good. <laughs> so I made him this, and he was really happy with it. Before it was zapped, really? it had like yeah, he loved it. He absolutely uh-huh. loved it. Wait, <laughs> where where? Oh, there's the ship. Yeah, <laughs> it it's completely I true. See it. I didn't even see it at first. It just appears when he. Do you know some of the spaceships? He, oh my god. How many spaceships did you hide? There's quite a few. There's a lo- there's quite a lot. There's stuff hidden all wow. over it. That's I actually, amazing. I put like my um my Eve character's like a cop who appears at the end. I like I cropped a police hat on him. It's it's really <laughs> I something else. Yeah. I just saw wait, it. where wait at the end? <laughs> you didn't even mask it. It's just the fucking flat folks. I love it. I love wait, it. What so time? Me with the time code. It's like three minutes exactly, I think. Oh, three minutes t- seven. All right, all right, hang on. Three minutes nine. Here, here, I can, ju- I can just copy. The- here's the time. Here's the timestamp. He's got some pretty good moves. Yeah, I made oh. sure to edit his dancing so it looked really cool. <laughs> it's, it's really not even a subtle effect. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> God damn! It's so stupid. God. So really much. He he loved oh, man. it. He loved all of it. I can't believe this. And before it, the bitch cocaine on the street. The thing is, he was submitting that video to like VH1 and like all these um these like hip hop sites, and they were running it. It's like no one really knew what this was. <laughs> and be- I guess before his account got shut down for, oh, he probably, might have had another video he showing you how probably to make showing crack yeah. cocaine showing himself making <laughs> real drugs. Probably got him in trouble. <laughs> But it had like a few hundred thousand views before it got smacked down. Mandy, I gotta say, I love how everything you do somehow loops back around to EVE Online. Yeah, but the problem is, he then offers, he was really adamant, like, you know, I'll pay you for your work. The thing is, he's offering to pay me after I've seen the video of him making the crack rocks in his kitchen. Yeah. And so I was <laughs> like, you know what, Viper, I've, I've really dug your music. You can just have that for free. and. There needs to be no financial ties between us. And he, <laughs> and he was like, well, I'll offer you some shares in my moving company. Oh, my God. Are you about what? to post the moving oh company my. picture? Yeah, you should probably put that in the video, too. But okay, I will. He's like, it's it's called Vipers Free Movers, and it's a moving Free. company. And he sent what? me the logo. This is the real logo for his moving company. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. It's just a graph. It's, it's, it's no, just okay, a graph. No, Mandy. It's not just it's a graph. Not just not there graph. is just much more than there's just Houston, a graph there's here. There's Houston in the background. Houston is in the background. And him there's a graph shirtless there's him with covering... Co- covered in meat. Covering I didn't even titties. frame it so the top of his head would be in the picture. Yeah, it's like so all it's cut, cut off. off. <laughs> there's oh, like... Su- what, what? Oh, it's not even... Oh, the the white lines on the sides, like the borders, they're not even. They're not even. Oh my god, it's not even symmetrical. Mm. It's just the graph of nothing. I I have no idea what the graph is for. The graph has services, construction, manufacturing, production, and total. He He they're just going up. He probably like a googled graph. Yeah. If I Google, hang on a second. If I Google image search graph, how far do I have to scroll to find that one? So, do you have shares in his moving companies? Well, I actually looked it up. Oh. And I might be able to find there. I'd have to look really deep, but I, I looked a few years ago and there were reviews for it. And by actually, no, there's only one review that I at okay. least remember. And it was from one lady saying that, oh, well, the workers both showed up drunk and without shirts and they were, they were <laughs> continually dropping things during the move. It wasn't a real moving truck. It was a pickup truck. That they had, I guess, glued or hammered on like some sort of wooden frame around the back to make it look, look like a box so he had like some ed ed and eddie, eddie contraption that he was <laughs> shoving people's furniture into to move around and he kept dropping stuff because he was always on his a1 cocaine or something during the moves wow oh my so God. i also declined stock and viper free movers incorporated but it was a a beautiful almost partnership that happened between us I still have his phone number, at least. So. Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you about the harness of death he has. What? You haven't told the me about this either. Of death. Yeah. So about two years ago, he started wearing this woman's corset to like lose weight. <laughs> That's. But then he put on like two or three at the same time, 
And he calls it the harness of death or the thawed. <laughs> Like this. He calls it the thawed. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, well, I know what the title of this episode is. <laughs> the thing Damn. is, I was really hoping it would be the Russian, but the thawed takes yeah. it. But he doesn't say the harness. He spells it, he calls it the hornus of death. Because Viper can't what? spell. <laughs> <laughs> And for the past two years, he's constantly oh tweeting god. about how it's going oh to kill god, him. Oh my god, he has a Twitter. I'm following him right now. He already oh, follows me. Of course he does. Yeah, but he actually he follows oh, a fuck of people. With my oh, yeah. one, two, five. <laughs> okay. One, three, five. We, we need, I'm going to read no, this tweet. Need, Someone needs to... Who's reading this tweet out loud? Mandy. D2J0. I work out almost every day preparing for my final battle with my five enemies. Thawed one through five. Daydreaming of a way to defeat them. Problem is, every day I get stronger, they get stronger. It's almost as if they're a mimic of me, a mirror of reflection, mocking my attempts at futility. <laughs> so what happens is, every time he survives a month wearing it, he adds another hornus to the collection. What? And then he calls it the Thawed 2 or the Thawed 4. And when he yes. can't stand it anymore, he gives up. And wait, he calls wait, 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 sorry. He has 100k followers. Viper's big, Yeah, dude. Viper's, Viper's a fucking, he's famous, man. This is my favorite one, though, because it was actually about a year ago today when he was getting pneumonia. What are these letter number codes that. at the beginning? Day 7, J Journey 2? Okay, Day 7 is what day of the thought yeah, cycle Yeah, I know, but what on. is J? Jay's Journey. Journey. Every time I guess he puts it. a new thought. I fucking did it! Yeah. Journey Holy 0? Shit. What is Journey 0? What? That means, he, that means he started over. He basically... Wait, what? Oh. He's basically new okay, game Okay, wait, no, no, no. Hang on. I have a, I have a question. <laughs> what does Journey mean if when he starts over, Journey goes down to 0? Okay. So like he puts on one, he puts lore? on, he puts on one corset. <laughs> you, you, he makes it a month. Okay. He puts on a second. Okay. That would be journey zero. <laughs> thawed two. <laughs> but if he gets to a point where he can't wear them anymore, the journeys start over, but he might not restart with a new thawed. So it might be thawed four journey zero. But you I can't don't have, understand like, any. I don't understand. What? I don't understand all right. at all. Day, this day is one. Can you, <laughs> Sorry. Can you explain that again? This is some of the most <laughs> complex lore yeah. I've ever heard right. in my all life. Right, all right, all right. Day one, journey zero. I have no thought on me, so I'm actually in journey zero now. When thought one and two arrive, I will wear both siblings, jumping me to journey two. Brackets J2 preparing me for FOD 3 to 5 arrival. The last three of the FOD siblings and the end of my life picking a fight with family of five. Yeah, he's convinced these things want to kill him. Like he has nightmares about them. <laughs> this is also How? another favorite when he was finally. I need everyone up to understand that Mandy was trying. Mandy almost let us get through the podcast without bringing up Viper. <laughs> like. <laughs> Quick, so he's botted a hundred thousand people to follow him, <laughs> right? Oh, no, he, Yule Cowards no. was like big. In about, I guess it was third grade, we made a discovery on our playground <clears throat> because the way dirt works in other, I guess most of the country and elsewhere is a lot different than Southern American dirt. It's like clay, and water can sit on it really easily. But you can also dig through it really easily. Yes. And our playground, it was maybe a quarter actual playground play equipment. And it was like on wood chips, right? Yeah, so we had that. But then within the fenced area, there was about two or three times the area of the playground. A hill that like, you know, it went up on the side. And erosion from rain and stuff would run down it. So... Just for an extra visual, playground down there, Got big it. hill with fence uh -huh. goes all around it. <laughs> yes. Now, I, when we were in third yes. grade, what we discovered, because we decided to be edgy kids and not play in the playground that day, we were going to go up Ooh. on the hill. Nice. And then, but then everything changed when this kid named Ryan found the rock. The rock? This sounds like we called it a crystal. 
What? The crystal. That I mean that. Okay. Wait, this is some. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Oh, hold shit. up, hold up. Grade school. Yeah, like third grade. Oh, third, okay. Grade. I mean, that's young as fuck. I can see yeah. that. I yeah, yeah. So, that. what we didn't understand was that um, when the water was coming in the hill and was eroding away the clay and dirt very slowly, and we realized there were these crystals buried in the um in the dirt. Now, what we didn't know because we were little is that it was quartz. Ah. Uh. <laughs> quartz is you know basically worthless. Yeah. But to little oh. kids, they saw these white Quartz crystals. Is diamonds. Yes, it, it is diamonds, which are also worthless. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, but that's a more complicated issue. <laughs> than... There is perceived value for diamonds. Anyway, so we found this, and we we're like, "Wow, you know, this is really cool. We should we should dig more of these up." Oh, I already. Oh no, I. Yeah, this is the but, slave <laughs> story. I know what I know where this is going. Okay, what? but what happened was. There was perceived value because we started saying like, you know, oh, you know, your your Eevee Pokemon card is cool. I'll give you five crystals for it. And then someone said oh, yes. Oh, God. And so at this point, oh. now they had value. And then yeah. kids we didn't know. Eevee. Yeah. But then kids we didn't know came up and started trying to dig in the in the courts. Oh, no. And so we told them to go away. And then we had like two of these huge friends I knew came and like, you know, get them away. As kids will do by oh. roughhousing them away. So then we had a small border of kids surrounding the digging people. And then we were like, oh, you know what we should do? What if we could just sit here and talk and not have to dig? We could have the younger kids <gasps> dig for us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I so we're like, you know, we're like, hey, you know, we'll give you a chocolate milk if you dig up these crystals for us at lunch. So we had the first graders digging up the courts for us with this ring of older kids around it. Mandy, you were, were playing you were playing Eve online in the third grade. Okay. Oh my oh. god! You it's, were it sick. didn't escalate yet. Oh no. When it escalated was oh, when no. the gambling ring started being formed around it. Oh my god. What? <laughs> there was a gambling ring? How? Okay. I bet Our you school were fucking had, taking a rake, right, you piece of shit. Our you school would. had a very, very strict no gambling policy. I'm pretty sure. Why did it need that? You Why would it need that? What do you mean? You know, like you couldn't have. Well, so kids wouldn't lose things, you know. So they'd be like, you know, we're having a Pokemon battle, and you have to give me your rarest card. Well, so that wouldn't happen. But what happened was, people were playing. You know, I think it was mainly Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh wasn't around yet that much, so people were playing with Pokemon cards. But there was like, you know, there's candy. But then, but then the crystals entered it. And the thing is, we didn't know what crystals meant for older kids. What? What? Oh, what? What, what the yeah. fuck? I guess around here, I don't know if they were called. This was before crystal meth, but I'm. I was I about think to was say, did you start yeah. gambling for crystal meth in third no, grade? No, no. But <laughs> wires got crossed, and people started believing it was something else entirely. <laughs> so then, mm. older kids, like from middle school, like people's siblings, were like. Trying to find more about, out about it. Like, you know, these kids have some crystal. <laughs> they didn't understand. What? Okay. And so, you know, people play these Pokemon cards. They'd, they'd lose crystals. They'd lose candy. We kept digging more and more up. And then we had the guards. And we thought we, we, made, we made it fun. We're like, I still have the document around here, actually. We made what? like this. You made a document? <laughs> what? We made it in notebook paper. We. You had a Lydia? <laughs> I still have it. It's stapled together because the sixth grade girl ripped it in half, but I still have the ledger around here. It was like, we made this document and we all signed it. We called it the Treaty of, I don't remember the name of it, but we made a little treaty and we basically sold out mining rights to this corner of the playground where we knew nothing was. And that was oh how we had peace God. for a while. You were selling sham plots of land. You were Star Citizen before Star Citizen. Oh, oh my God. so we were selling useless land, and in return, they wouldn't throw kickballs at the miners and all the other stuff. Holy shit. So we had the economy all laid out. It was perfect. It was perfect. The, pro the thing was, there were, there were issues. It was perfect, but then there were problems. Like, you had the one dumb second grader who you tried to buy, he tried to buy, like, a muffin at lunch with crystals, and the lunch lady wouldn't take it. What? And so... Then the teachers started to get aware of like, haha, you know, this kid tried to buy some food with quartz. Isn't that cute? But then that was when they really noticed 
how much quartz was around they the school. They noticed the cabal of children, like making, like standing in formation and digging oh my God. with well, ledgers. That took they a thought, while. They, th- they thought it was like people were making sandcastles or something. Like, oh, you know, they're out, they're up digging there. You're like, oh, they're they're digging little castles or something. And up there, it's like, you know, fucking Ryan. You didn't not meet your quota all. today, Ryan. You know what that yeah. means. No chocolate milk for the next two no weeks. No chocolate milk. Give me your EV. The problem was the high roller. <laughs> there was this high roller Pokemon player, and he lost twenty dollars and a bunch of crystals, and he was mad about it. So he thought the other kid cheated. I wasn't there for it, so maybe he did, maybe he didn't. And he told his dad about it. Oh, and so wow. his dad oh, went fucking... to gripe to the yeah. So his dad went to gripe to the school about it. And we were giving the younger kids stuff to mine because we're like, oh, you know, if if I give you chocolate milk, you know, you have to be our slave and dig for us. And they're like, okay, because we didn't know what we didn't know what slaves really really meant. I we thought like, oh, I it means they say, work a lot. Mandy, that sounds more like indentured servitude. Yeah, it was, but we didn't know. But and you so had a ledger. he he, he a started ledger. explaining. Yeah, but so the kid had to explain to the teacher. And he's like, well, it's not fair, you know, because, like, I don't get enough crystals, and they just have their slaves dig up all of it for them. And you're like, <laughs> oh, my God. And so the teacher's, of course, like, excuse me? Like, yeah, you know, those kids, they always have their slaves out there working for them. And you have to understand, oh. our state was uh, was part of the, the, the Confederacy in the Civil War. <laughs> oh, God. So oh, when no. they heard that their kids had slavery and not really understanding what was happening. And that's when the teachers looked and they noticed and saw the ring of people and the kids digging. We were a very diverse school. I'm going to say that right now. Oh, no. And there was a... Oh, no. 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 There, there, were a, there were a mix of people digging. It wasn't like... Okay. No one was signaled out because they were stupid kids. But there were, oh. there were enough of both sides where they said, Oh, no. Because they looked up, you know, everyone's having fun up there. They're like, we're getting the crystals. Like, oh, this digging's fun. Yeah, and these crystals are going to get me a sick Charizard after class. <laughs> <laughs> and so then they found out about it. And they didn't know how elaborate and widespread it was. So they started how to have this they, kind of How could they down. have, Mandy? How could they have? Yeah, you had a I ledger mean, in the third fucking grade. It wasn't a ledger. It was a treaty. That's oh, what that you had a treaty in the third grade. What? In what way do you think that's an improvement? It I mean, How we all signed it? it. It's really cute looking. Like everyone has their little signatures on it. It's like a notebook paper. <laughs> you, God, it's adorable. Yeah. Fucking wait, slavery. was it on the like big double lined notebook paper where it has yeah, the dotted yeah, lines? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. adorable. Yeah, for lowercase letters, yeah. It was, it was yeah. like it was like treaty. Like we agree not to do stabbings or attacks. Oh, the stabbings was because um, people started what? stabbing each other with pens and pencils over it. But that was, what? it wasn't hard. What? <laughs> what do you mean it wasn't what? hard? What? I actually <laughs> still have some graphite in my right arm. Because Mandy's, of asking teacher, he, Mandy's asking his math teacher how he, Mandy's asking his <laughs> math teacher how he can He's asking his, his history as- teacher how to stop stabbings. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the third or fourth grade. It was, how does that help? thought it was playing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mandy. Okay, so the teachers yeah. the teachers started to find out. This is yeah. fucking wild. And so then we had I don't remember when it was, but we started to learn about the word slavery that, that following week. Like you, you know, oh, we need no. to know that oh. slavery was a wrong, bad, bad thing that happened. And we're like, you know, oh yeah, that was messed up. That was messed up. And then we go to lunch and it's like, what are we gonna have the slaves oh. dig up today? Because <laughs> we didn't we didn't associate it. We didn't put it together. <laughs> Because oh, we're like, like, oh, well, working like for nothing. That'd be awful, you know. We need to give Tim some more goldfish if he's going to work hard today. <laughs> if you're really good, you oh get goldfish God. and chocolate milk. Yeah, and so they thought it was over. <laughs> but, the, but then a second problem started cropping up. Because we were digging so much, the ground on top of the, um, like the hill above the playground was starting to get worse and more and more water was coming down when it rained. So, our little operation was starting to dig into the hill and actually destroy the property. Oh, oh my god! Wow! Because Holy it always shit. looked bad. Because there wasn't like any grass below it. It was just like 
clay and I don't know what the term for it is, just reddish dirt. So it never looked good, but now the wood chips were being affected by it. And so the teachers, I guess, came together somewhere. Who knows? Because we didn't get to see any of this. But they said, we have to put a stop of it. So they made courts an item you couldn't have to school. I think their excuse was it, it was sharp and people get hurt or something like that. But really, it was they to, knew what it was, it was for. to stop the slavery. <laughs> Did they? The the no, no parent knew what happens. Well, there were parents that started to find out about it because kids were like coming home with their backpacks jostling and rocking around because they were full of rocks. Oh, I guess. Because yeah. people okay, but they found out about the courts, but did they find out about the slaves? The slaves, yeah, that's the thing. Yes, they did. Because oh. when they heard about this, they're like, cause they, they tried the class, like, you know, slavery was wrong, you know. You shouldn't, we shouldn't even pretend about that kind of thing. We're just like, yeah, okay, that's a good idea. But then we just kept doing it anyways. I think we changed the name to Worker. Wait. But it, to them, it looked like nothing had changed because nothing had changed. Yeah, weird that it would look that way. <laughs> yeah, like, hmm, their freedom challenged. I mean, you did give them jo- gold Their freedom flies. challenged. Yeah, we gave them goldfish and, you know, chocolate milk. <laughs> all the riches Sorry. they could desire. And they just had to give us the cords. Okay, so about a week, I want to say a week before it made landfall. No, a few days before it made landfall. You all go to the store to stock up, and there's a cheaper brand of bottled water called Deer Park Bottled Water. And there's a contest, and the contest is you try to get the water before everyone else does, and then they go out of stock. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so I go in, and I see people with, um, with like, shopping carts, the local Walmart. And they, they have carts just filled with water bottles. And so I'm like, well, I need to get in on this now. So I went to the, uh, the section, and there's a guy loading it up off, like, a pallet. And it, it, I, don't, I don't know how many were left for sure. I want to say maybe 16 cases, but they were, like, industrial wraps, so they each had, like, two mini cases inside. And then I said, I'll take, I'll take some of those. And he said, oh, I'll, I'll load it for you. And so I said, all right. And so he loads in one, he loads in two, and I was like, well, I don't know how bad this is going to be. And so then I turned into DJ Khaled. Every time you put one in, I just go, another one, another one, another <laughs> one. <laughs> Your card was like fucking full. No, I took, I want to say half. <laughs> I had about, <laughs> I, I had, I was like, well, you know, they're prepared for this. So let me, let me stock it back up. And so I had about, oh my God, eight. <laughs> you just took like all of them. I had about eight. Cause I was like, I don't know how bad this is going to be. And. You know, Walmart, they're huge. They're going to be restocking it. So I got eight of them. And then when I'm going away, some other lady comes up to him and she's like, you know, can I have the, can I have a water? He's like, good thing you're getting it now. This is the last stock we're getting for a long time. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Did you feel bad at all? Well, my first thought was like, I, I stopped and I'm like, I should go back there and hand some back. But right when I'm thinking that, people start surging past me because they're trying to get to the water bottles. <laughs> and so I realized I'd have to go back through them. And I, I started, I didn't count exactly, but there are enough oh people there God. that I realized that there are far more people here now than there are cases of water. And so I, so I, it, you would just, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so I started like pushing my card away and this one lady was like, Oh, can I have one of those cases? And she has like, She's like her little her little goblins clinging to her legs. Kids, just Disgusting. little kids, little kids. Ew. Well, please tell me you did not give her bottle. <laughs> <laughs> they were like looking at me with their little yellow eyes, and I was like, "All, all right." It's like, please I have a case. Like, all right, here you go. And then another guy on the right comes up to me, and he's like, "You know, I got kids too. Could I, have, could I have a, a case?" I'm like, all right, here you go. And then I see people's ears perk up, and they start looking towards me. And I'm like, oh fuck! Are I've, you? I've made, a, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> I didn't realize that a, a string of there was a, a very wow. bad string of events. I was um, I was also wearing like a blue polo shirt, which is usually reserved for um. I guess mainly Harris Teeter does that, but Walmart workers will frequently wear similar kind oh, of colors. No. And so then I realized oh, no. that. Oh, they might think I'm trying to. I'm going back there to restock it, and I'm just coming out of it. 
And so then I, I started oh, I no. started walking a little quicker with my cart. <laughs> and then I'm hearing voices behind me. Hey. Hey. I'm like, no, I've just I gotta keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm walking a little faster, but not trying to like you know, look like I'm I don't want to bounce. I don't want to look like I'm jogging. I'm doing the that power speed walking. Yeah. yeah. So I gotta just just keep walking. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How many cases you got there, cuz? I just got, oh. just got to keep walking. I'm not going to look at him. You can't look at him. Hey! You, you look at him, you're fucked. This guy's got water! Did he actually? He actually. Did someone actually say... This guy's this guy got, got, got water. water? Whoa. <laughs> I didn't know if he was turning around to tell, like... I, I didn't know at the time. At the time, I'm like, he's telling the crowd and they're going to come murder me. But <laughs> looking back... It's like, oh, he probably had, like, his wife or whatever, or somebody, like, behind him in their aisle, like, looking for, like, water or drinks or something. And he was probably calling yeah. out to whoever that was. Then again, I didn't but turn around, mind, so I didn't see. In my mind, in mind he's telling the like, crowd, there's a, there's a fucking horde. <laughs> Did you start running? At that point, I went into a little bit of a jog. <laughs> and, I, and I could see the self-checkout. The thing is, I see the oh self-checkout, and I see it has a line, and I'm on the very, like, left side of the store. If you've ever been to, like, a, um, oh like a I don't know if they're called Super Walmarts, but they're, like, they... Super Walmarts? The they used to be called Super Walmarts, now yeah. they're just called Walmarts. Yeah, now they're, just, now they're just Walmarts. The checkout lines is go the for, like, a difference between a Super Walmart? You could get a, like... What? Yeah, it, it's... Uh, not really a mile, but it's, like, if you look down, they have tons and tons of checkout lines, and about... Maybe four open at a time. I've never heard of a super Walmart. I'm guessing that's just a U.S. thing. It, it's, well, what's, it's, it, it, what is it's the a, difference? A uh, super Walmart has a grocery store in it. Basically, that oh, used yeah. to be it. That used to be oh. it. Now all Walmarts have a grocery store in them. Yeah, so all that's Walmarts what I was. Are super Walmarts. Yeah. It used to be department stores. Of like, if they had groceries too, it would be a, a super whatever. It's a super Target. It's a super mm. whatever. But yeah, like times have changed. Anyways. So I'm running down these aisles now, trying to get to the open one that doesn't have a line. Since I'm like, okay, there's, it's Walmart, so there's only going to be about maybe four or five of these open. And I'm going down to try and find one off the checkout. And then I see one on the left, and thank God I do that one. Because as I am coming towards it, there's a guy coming towards me, and he has oh, no. a cart that's fucking loaded. What? <laughs> Filled with Dasani water bottles. Not just oh, in the top. Shit. He has them, like, in the bottom. He has so many. And so I make a hard left into the checkout. And the how people behind wait, me... Wait, how, how, what's the category of the Hurricane Florence? At this point, it was about a category four. This was before it hit. The only thing okay. people knew was that there's a, there's a hurricane coming towards us, and it's a category four. Okay. And so I make a hard left into it. And then I hear the high... Like the guy behind me, I hear his wheels like Eric, stop! And about <laughs> six or seven voices talking to him at once, and I'm hearing lots of footsteps behind me. And I look for like a second behind me, and I see like people piling down through that row. And so at this point, I'm like kind of hunching over the cart <laughs> and like trying to like, spread my shoulders out like a bat. At this point, I'm really wishing I had a jacket so I could like <laughs> kind of uh, like nest over them. Yeah. And so I'm turn I'm like saying them checked out. It's all going well at this point. And I hear like <laughs> and I know that that's gonna be really bad. Uh, right? Attention Walmart shoppers. We are what the fuck? What we the are fuck? completely out of water bottles. <laughs> if you're looking for water, the store is no longer carrying them. What the Thank fuck you and have a great day. Whoa. Whoa. Where am I? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just woke up. And that's for the when first I knew. Time, dude. And that's when I knew it was gonna get really bad. Holy shit! Did you get <laughs> fucking like? Is it like one of those scenes in the movies where all the, like a car just starts beeping and all the zombies turn around towards the no fucking, because like water bottles because attention was turning towards like the doomsday prepper behind me, and so I'm trying to lay like uh could I have could I have a bag for these. And she's looking at the cases because, like I said before, they're, like, industrial wrapped, so it's more like two cases in one. 
And she's yeah. like, the bags won't fit these. So just, <laughs> just give me two bags. And so I was trying to like cocoon <laughs> each one. So no one could see with the water bottle. So at this point, I'm like, okay, you know, this, this shouldn't be bad, but this is a Walmart. So I don't know what's going to happen now. But th- there's no telling. <laughs> it's like, I usually don't go to Walmart because it's Walmart. I was like, oh, it'll be cheap and we'll surely have a lot of water. No, I was very wrong. And so Why this didn't point, they prep more? That's the fucking... Isn't that the question? I feel like, yeah. I feel like they would absolutely prep more. That's why I went. So like, oh, it's not hitting landfall for a few days. They're, they should have tons of water here. It should be fine. But no. Maybe, yeah, but maybe, you know, maybe everybody did the same thing you did before yeah. that. I mean, maybe they know? were out for the day. But when I went, like, a few days later, they had, like, the sign that said we don't we don't have water bottles. It was like on the front of the store. So you were just hiding your bottles. Yeah, but was you know, the guy was the guy behind you like getting fucking swarmed by people for I w- real? I like, was starting to hear yelling. Oh fuck! I, <laughs> I wasn't That's seeing. Terrifying. I wasn't here. There wasn't like fighting at least when I was there, but there was yelling. It's like all right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get going, and so I'm going out, and the thing is. It's quite clearly water bottles, even though I, you know, try to wrap them up because they're just plastic bags. They don't have like brown paper bags. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm going out. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to, uh, and I'm thinking back. I'm like, man, I should have gotten like gum or something from the little, uh, like the front of the checkout where you could just get random shit. So I should have bought some of that just to throw on the top of it, but it's too late for that now. (laughs) (laughs) Just anything to hide it. Yeah. And so I'm walking out. The good news is walking out, there's very different people walking in compared to walking out. The people walking out either have water are pissed or they're looking they, pissed at the people who have water. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm walking out, I'm like, Ugh. and then I see people coming in and they're all like, they're in a good mood. They have a great day. They're about to get some Dasani. They're going to get they their favorite water. They yeah. Know. They don't know yet. They don't know. There's no sign. And so, oh God. And I see them coming in. And this one lady's like, tell her husband, she's like, don't worry, I'm sure they're going to have plenty. And I didn't hear what she was talking about. But in my heart, I knew. <laughs> in my heart, I knew. Adult diapers. <laughs> yeah. I and mean, so, adult diapers, you know, you can just so, put, put like, them in the water and then, like, twist them in your mouth. I mean, you could absorb them as, like, a flotation device, yeah. maybe, but. Or that. Yeah, but I made it to the parking lot and all was well until I saw... I was being overly paranoid at this point, but I just recognized the guy I had seen in the store earlier, and he was behind me about 20 feet. I was like, nah, this this isn't happening. And it wasn't happening, because I turned left and he went right. And then after all of that, and I live in the, uh, because I got it all bundled up, but I live in the top floor of an apartment. Yeah. So getting getting that up was a process over several days, because I just like, all right, I'm out of bottles. I'll go to the trunk and get them out. And then after all of that, all the water services were fine anyways, so it didn't it didn't matter. You a just few, wasted f- money. Yeah, well, no, I'm still, I've still got them. Like, I've been sipping off them, but it was basically a waste of money. Like, a few, a few, <laughs> a few roads <laughs> flooded. I was like, okay, a few roads flooded. Like, some of the shoddier buildings went down. But like, no one, I, I didn't hear about anyone getting killed around here. It's like, well, it was all for nothing. When, when it hit. When it hit, it was it was not Category Four anymore, was it? No, it was like a. No. They downgraded to like a two or a one when it hit, oh. and it became a tropical storm. But oh. at, at this point, they're like, "Oh, it's Category Four, and that's like that's when Category big shit's Four about is to like extreme damage. Yeah. yeah, that's when like big shits about to happen. Oh so people God. were flipping out, and I was like, "Well, you know, I've got most, I've got like lots of canned food and stuff that won't perish already. It's like I just need water bottles." It's like, oh yeah, all that was for nothing. So I have to think, what happened to the guy who was being yelled at who was hoarding everything? A few weeks, maybe months ago. Months. It was yeah, months at this point. It is. It's hard to, it's hard to remember. It's what my, happens uh, when you don't eat food for eight days, man. Yeah. I know, my girlfriend, uh, I'm gonna, I get referred to as Red, because that's a good name. Okay. So me and Red are, are like talking about shit and she's like, oh, I wanted, you know, we haven't seen a play, any theater thing in a while. And she found this one for um, The Horse and His Boy. And if you haven't heard of that, it's a, uh, it's one of the Narnia 
Narnia things. I can't remember mm. where in the chronology it it's is. It's like a one of the Narnia books. Yeah, it's yeah. Like in the wardrobe. Okay. Yeah, okay. they didn't make it into a movie because well, there's not much to make into a movie really. But okay. um, and so we're like, oh, that looks neat, and they're using these uh these huge like puppet mechanical horses and like puppet mechanical cats like they're really neat looking it was because oh, they uh, they ripped off the schematics from war horse and broadway but that's <laughs> that doesn't matter for now <laughs> okay it's like oh cool like they're using these, these huge puppets and she's like oh yeah we should go but it was in um it was fairly deep in the south side of uh south carolina so it was a it was a bit of a road trip to get there and so we drove down there and the area wasn't like, it wasn't the worst I've seen in the state, but it wasn't, it, it, it was a little rundown in areas. I was like, okay, you know, there's like an Arby's next to a Bojangles, next to a McDonald's, next to a Wendy's. You're describing every out. Midwestern like town. Every city you're ever. Just, yeah. It's describing like, every small American yeah, town. Yeah, exactly. Just like roads, roads flying apart and we're like, okay, we'll keep going. And we turn into like this off road and it turns into kind of a swamp that has like rotting train tracks like oh all right and then we find the theater and it looks like it may have been a church at one point it probably was <laughs> or it's like oh all right, okay and we couldn't find parking initially because it was in like this kind of gravel lot that looked like in any other place where like employee parking would be like behind the building mm. it's like oh okay that's a little fine odd but all right and so we go in and we go in and it's like, oh, it looks pretty nice in here. There's a lot of people around. We're having a good time. This and sounds incredibly suspicious how you're describing it. Does no. Yeah, because like they, have, they have like the snack bar off to the like side and of the room. everything looks fine. <laughs> yeah. They even had these, um, they had like an auction because they had actual um, props from the, like the movies on display. They had like from a uh, wine witch in the wardrobe. They had like the. Peter's armor and his sword. And they had like all the, these movie props. Like there was tons. Oh like, shit! They probably might. a significant S- amount of stuff. Like it just in this hallway for people to look at and like. But the stuff you could auction on was shitty. One was yeah, like, I mean, yeah. Do you remember? Um, I guess this is judging your memory of Narnia. When the evil dwarf at the end pulls out a dagger and goes ha and goes to try and attack somebody and he just fucking dies from an arrow. Well, you, yeah, you, you could you could auction that for that arrow. You could put a bit on it. The arrow. That sounds yeah, like the something arrow you and would the dagger. Want, it sounds like something you would want to own. You oh, specifically. Like, well, the thing is, like, it was like it was like a, ha- a Halloween prop. It looked like plastic. Oh, and behind the glass, okay. they have like the fucking engraved Peter sword that's like really finely made and all this other stuff. But they mm-hmm. have like no one back there. Like, if I was more crafty and more dangerous. Someone could could have easily, like, robbed them. Easily. Like, they had no one, like, standing around, like, constantly watching it, which was fucking bonkers. Now you sound suspicious. Well, it's it's fucking weird. Like, (laughs) like, these weren't like, oh, it's, you know, a shoe from Star Wars. It's like, oh, you know, Chronicles of Narnia, like, here's all the main cast costumes. Here's, like, all the main props they use in the movie. And they're just behind, like... Not even locked glass cases. They're like the ones I mean, where you, you twist the little thing. To like, I mean, how are you going to sneak a sword and armor out of there? There were multiple <laughs> exits in the building. It's like oh. you, could, you could grab the sword and just like run out. Better hope there's nope. no security camera. There wasn't. It's like... It's, we, oh, it was a through, church. It's a church. Yeah. yeah. There's like there's nothing. They don't need security. God I, will protect them. And I worked actually, in a community like, theater, and let me tell you, there's nothing worth stealing to have security cameras in there. God. Yeah. It, it was like a temporary display because um, but what, Christopher... I mean... Lu- Whoever's the the heir to the C.S. Lewis people, like he he donated them temporarily so like they could have it on display there. So like but, it, it was mean, not planned for. Are there like there. Narnia super fans? You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. They're just movie fans in general. It's like Disney. It's like, hey, uh, I have this sword oh, it is that Disney Peter used in the Chronicles of Narnia. Right. Basically, like Narnia is like Harry Potter for very conservative Christian people. Yeah, huh. my dad loves it. It, it, it fills that demo- yeah, it fills that demographic. It's like it's young adult adventure stuff, but it is it is centered around. But it's about Jesus. Jesus. But yeah, Jesus exactly. is a cat. Exactly. What? Oh, we'll get we'll get to that. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, bad. Anyways, so we um we we don't get any snacks. We um 
we we go to our seats and i remember buying the tickets online and it was like oh you could buy like a regular seat or a premium seat but there was no difference between the seatings you could choose which which, which struck me as odd and we go to the chairs and they're um they're all wooden they look like a uh, like baseball like baseball stadium bleachers but they're made of wood okay they're very small and i was <laughs> Wait, do you mean like awestruck. church benches? No, not like or, pews. They're like no, okay. like armrest, like baseball stadium, like chairs. But wood like, instead of yeah. plastic. In wood. Yeah, yeah they, so look, they just... look like they would fold up, but they did not. Okay. And so we sit down and we're like, man, these chairs are pretty uncomfortable. And I look in front of me and the very front row has actual like cushion theater chairs. But the, <laughs> the row right in front of us, some of them have like these... um. They brought like these seating pads with them. And then we realized uh, this regulars. is a regular thing. And we looked back and they're fucking selling seating pads for you to buy as a separate <laughs> add-on. Was it God. expensive? It was like 10 bucks or something per pad. Fucking Jesus. church. Turned yeah, it's, it's like a... you got to the seat. And it, <laughs> it would be like going to the movie theater. And it's like, where do I put my drink? Oh, you can get a cup holder for uh, 10 bucks if you want. It's like a Father That's John Misty funny. song. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. And so we're just, we're sitting there like, okay, this is kind of weird. And, and we're looking at the programs, the, uh, the person the front gave us. And that's when the warning signs start. Oh, because no. it has, uh, advertisements for local business. And the very first thing I see on the first page is a guy who looks like the, um, I can't remember his name, but he has the orange hair and like the original Planet of the Apes. He's like the orangutan, like high priest. Doctor Zayas. Doctor Zayas, yeah. Uh -huh. The guy looks exactly like Doctor Zayas. <laughs> Jesus and, Christ! And it's advertising <laughs> his uh his dental clinic, and he's like he's like I do great dentistry, and I'm looking at the uh and at the bottom it has this big also. Learn the truth about autism, vaccinations, oh. and other <laughs> medical conditions at my seminars. Yikes. I know about teeth. No, because I just like, why the fuck would you put this on like your dental ad? Like, also learn the truth about autism and vaccinations. <laughs> while, like, you I, get, while he's in your mouth, he just starts fucking talking about autism. All yeah, the like, painkillers. You don't need Novocaine. You just need some essential oils. I was about to say, all, <laughs> he uses, all he does is use placebos when he's drilling into your fucking teeth. Yeah, and so I hope Red keeps the brochure later. Cause, like, I think she kept it because I'd love to have a picture of that guy. Because and we're sitting there waiting, and so she's kind of flipping through it still. And I look up his uh, his clinic, and there are like reviews for it on Google, which are actually fairly high. And but then I found the one star review, and she's like, "Yeah, I never been to him before." And I started talking about how uh, my post people had I was waiting for a package because like my post people kept kept being late. And then he leaned close to me and he whispered, "Were they black people?" Oh. <laughs> She's like, I could not believe he said this to me, and I was so offended. I'll never come here again. <laughs> and like, there were a bunch of good reviews to locals. Like, yeah, he's he's the best. He's he's the best and only man we have in town. I was like, well, that is kind of the default. And there are like these one and two star reviews from people who are like very questionable about him. Because <laughs> would be stuff like, yeah, it was a pretty good dentist experience, but for some reason he kept saying my son might have evil spirits or something, but I'd go back, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm like, oh, what the fuck is going on here? And like the other businesses in the, that were being advertised were very, not on that level, but very similar in, in energy. There was like one that was like selling a uh, yard equipment. But the guy looked like he had fought in every, he looked like Wolverine, like he had fought in possibly every war. Gotcha. <laughs> but it would be like, clean your lawn. I know about doing the dirty work and cleaning stuff up for our country. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and, so, and so finally, they had this huge screen like above the actual um, stage. And they started playing like, um, they start showing images of a new theater they're going to build. And they're like, hey, you know, we're going to try and move locations because the theater is getting so popular that we need to, we're going to need to make our location bigger. 
Was in, the theater full? Oh yeah, it was like it was packed. packed? Oh shit! In fact, just recently, um, they announced they're like running more showings of the play until like late summer because it's been packed every time. Huh. Like it was in- extremely popular, and so they're talking about that, and then they have this man. This man comes up, and he's a key character. I don't know his name, and I'm just going to call him the pastor, because the first thing he says he said was, I'm not a pastor, and this ain't a church, but those become challenged very soon. Whoa. And so he's like, oh, are you all ready to see the play and have a good time? And I was like, yeah, I don't really know. He's trying to hype up the audience. Yeah. He's like, are you ready to see the war horse? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, these two stagehands bring out a huge American flag. Everyone rise for the pledge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Assuming direct control. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my so, god. And so the audience stands up. And me and Ryder just looking at me and Ryder are just looking at each other like, what the fuck is happening? Because she probably hasn't like stood up to say the pledge since uh, fucking elementary school. <laughs> like, we're so fucking baffled by this. And so everyone says the pledge. It's like we're saying the pledge. And he's like, Alright, now let us pray. And everyone immediately bows their heads. Oh like, my god. <laughs> But I'm like, I, I'm kind of like a little, I'm not really weirded out by this. Like, it's the South. Like, sure. This isn't crazy. Yeah. What was crazy is how he starts the prayer. It's like, okay, we'll bow our heads. Dear Aslan. <laughs> <laughs> because the problem is now, me and Red are trying really hard not to laugh. Because <laughs> this has already been, sh- I've never been to a play where you stand for the pledge and then segues into a prayer and the second he said dear aslan it's like <laughs> we're trying to hold it together and he's like dear aslan please protect us you are the lion of the tribe of judah and he's going on about it and he's like please please protect our people who are constantly under attack in these day in these times and i'm like what? oh boy i looked around there was it was only white Lord. people there really but of course yeah and so we're trying to like decipher what this prayer means <laughs> because we had a good idea, but <laughs> we kept going on. He's like, and please protect our values, which are constantly being challenged by your enemies. Great Aslan. Amen. Uh... <laughs> and the problem is the kid. I'm like, are these kids thinking of like the witch or are they thinking of like the devil? <laughs> I genuinely didn't know. And so we're like, okay, that was weird. The play will start, right? Wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he, oh, my God. He starts God. talking with the theater and, like, how, how great the staff and the actors are and everything. And then he goes, okay, remember, this isn't a church. <laughs> Everyone laugh. Ha, 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 ha. And he did, like, that Final <laughs> Fantasy fucking, like, forced laugh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was like, everyone else laugh with me. Ha, ha, ha. And then everyone Jesus starts Christ. laughing like that. The whole audience oh is like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> my <laughs> fucking God. Did you and laugh? Then, of course we laughed. <laughs> <laughs> you were the only people there really laughing. <laughs> of course we <laughs> <it> laughed. <laughs> and at this point, I was wondering if it was a dream. Oh like, wow. God. I dreamed about that play we are going to go to tomorrow. It was really fucking weird. <laughs> Oh my god. And so we finish we finish the laugh to reinforce this is not a church. And he uh <laughs> As he you starts, do. Yeah. And he starts talking about what like the theater school that some of these people came from. And he's like, Well, they came from the theater school off, off north, but you know, we had to do we did a lot of good work there because the school was very prestigious, but the school was in spiritual trouble, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I we had we have a guess and that was do you think there might have been do you think there were any gay people to theater school? Yeah, I think there might have been. Do you think that's possible? I think it's very possible. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty much confirmed a moment later when he's like, "Well, we all must be together in marriage between man and a woman are so sacred." And I was like, ah. Oh my god, gay conversion there. I was like, there may have been some homos at the theater school. Say it ain't so. I mean, I what was more surprising was the fact that he seemed like so 
so shaken by it. Like he was, he's running, you know, a theater and he was shocked to find that there were, there were others among the theater Game. staff. Gaming. But we don't know what he meant by, we, we like, he's like, you know, we, it was in spiritual trouble, but we cleaned it up. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't you left know. That bit out. You left that bit out initially. That's that's like either murder or gay conversion therapy. Uh, you know, they might have said they might have kicked them out, or they might have they might have electrocuted everybody. You're right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the chat for you. Mandy doesn't have the answers to these questions. A lot of said, rainbow flags out there in the swamp. Yeah, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of gay people emerging from the swamp muck like monsters <laughs> <laughs> to destroy this small Christian town. With that goosebumps they all episode flood, of they're monsters. under attack. They all flood into they the fucking... Arby's parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're holding hands. The thing was, he implied the school was very, like the Cedar School was very far away. Like, he's like up north. And I'm like, what is the reach of this man? And I, I started thinking about it because I'm like, there's this huge like display case of all these fucking probably hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions worth of like movie props that like, you could just steal. Yeah. Millions of dollars of movie props are just hanging out in like this unguarded alley. This guy's talking about this school that he has some sort of influence over. And then they show a film of the, uh, I can't remember his name, but it's the CS Lewis inheritor. It's like his step grandson or whatever. And he's like addressing the theater staff directly, and he was like consulting for it. So I'm wondering, like, how much power does this man really have? Like, if you were a very powerful man, you could make a blip, or you could hide out in the swamp. Yeah, <laughs> you could. You could either make a blip in the world or own the swamp. Right. That's like in Far Cry Five. Cool so, Far Cry is in Montana. It's not swampy it's, at all. It's not swampy in Montana at it's all, Mountainy. David. There's about, that's all I know about the America. It's good enough. It's good enough. Yeah, so he gives this very, very long talk about all this stuff. Like, it, it's honestly just a blur to remember it. It was like, roll under attack and Aslan <laughs> will protect us. <laughs> And it was okay. getting really hard because the, the problem was he was okay. starting to like switch between like talk about Jesus and God to Aslan, like just <laughs> like interchangeably. Yeah, interchangeably. <laughs> like That's you like you like, oh God watches over all of us and don't worry because Aslan will smite our enemies. And I'm like <laughs> The thing is he was only using Aslan in a really fucking vengeful context. Yeah, like, he's he's like the idea of Jesus without having to actually no, be sin-free. No, but he would free. mention Jesus, too. No, I know. Like, oh, Jesus I know, I'm saying, and, uh, Aslan saying, will fuck him up, though. He's using <laughs> Aslan as, like, Jesus who can fucking destroy people. Like, vengeful Jesus, because that's yeah. technically not blaspheming. He found a really good loophole. I, I guess, but the problem oh. was I started thinking about the movie fucking Split when he's talking about that. So I started imagining <laughs> Aslan with like a split personality disorder. So now I'm trying not to laugh when he's like talking more about everything going on and going wrong in America. It's like, okay. And we're, and we're just saying like, just please, just please start the play. And then, the, and then finally, finally the play starts and it was really good. The only problem was, uh, for the um, because they copied the uh, the design for the mechanical horses from War Horse, so they they looked fantastic. The thing was they hadn't mastered the other animals, which was a cat, and there was also a dog. I think I don't remember. I, I remember the cat specifically, because you know a cat is a very small animal, right? Right. You no, know, you have your little mm. cat has little moving parts. The question is uh. You know, you, you have a horse which had, I think, three puppeteers for a life-size mechanical horse. The cat had yeah. five. Uh, oh. <laughs> you couldn't what? see the cat. <laughs> because Just the actor, five men. <laughs> yeah, the actor would be like, like, oh, kitty, you're back. And you'd hear like, meow. And you'd just see like this little, this little like huddle crowd of people <laughs> shuffle across the stage. <laughs> and they're all like, because like, they had like one moving like the front paws, one was moving the head, 
One was doing the back legs, one was moving like the middle part of it so it could articulate, and one was controlling the tail. And you could not see the goddamn cat. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just and, all and these the, men in black just huddled no, around No, they're not in other. black. They're, they're not in black? black? No. The stagehands weren't in black. They were wearing like They're like the, the same color, right? The no, same no. They were wearing like mixes of like browns, blacks, and grays, like different colored pants. They weren't dressed like <sighs> ninja stagehands. They, they were dressed well, like, I mean, that's not even, that's just how you have to dress when you're a stagehand. Like in basically every production. You no, have they're, they're dressed like they're at a renaissance the f- fair. Okay. Like, wh- like whoever's directing it was like, oh, we'll make them look like in this setting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. But yeah, and so you'd hear like, meow, meow, and like, maybe petting it and stuff. And it's like, it can't see the cat. And it's like a major, it's a major part of this. <laughs> but when they had um thing I heard this kid in the front of me and he's like, I can't see the cat. And his mom's like, Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know what to I didn't know what to think of it. <laughs> because he shut up afterwards. He didn't like compl- he was like, No, I can't. Which, when a kid's that young, they would probably do that. Like, I can't. That kid gets. That kid knew he was gonna get hit when they got home if he said it again. <laughs> oh no! I'm pretty sure everyone was whispering about Aslan to their kids because um they did have uh, an Aslan, and he looked fucking terrifying. Oh. He was. <laughs> I'm actually gonna see if I could. Yeah, there are pictures of it. <gasps> it's so fucking terrifying. It David, looks link, like a um, link these in the description. Yeah, their Aslan didn't. It, their Aslan didn't look like a um like a lion. It looked like a skeletal, t- vengeful tree. <laughs> what? It had empty, <laughs> soulless eye sockets. <laughs> vengeful oh, tree. Oh, there it is. Here's here's Aslan. Oh, what the oh fuck? my god! <laughs> what is that? That's it's, Aslan. Why is he made of wood? I don't know. <laughs> Who are the men inside? <laughs> Those are so. That, see, that's a, those are the puppeteers. You see what I mean? They just have them in yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. They're just like in costumes. They, they're just in tunic. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're just like in, in costumes. They're not like stagehands. That is fucking horrifying. The thing is, does the mouth move? No, which actually made it much scarier because um, I heard we heard kids crying very quickly. Oh my god! <laughs> you know as you know the movie is like Aslan's voiced by uh, Liam Neeson. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's very like I've come to protect you. Yeah, you know what yeah, their yeah. Aslan sounded like when it came out? <laughs> Who awakens me? Aslan. <laughs> he was like fucking whisper. It was like a smoker voice whispering. <laughs> it was really, it's really insulting because in everything else, Aslan's like, oh, Jesus is here. Like, this is good. Who disturbs me? Aslan. And this big fucking skull like walks out of the fog. He's like, I will smite my enemies. <laughs> we, we hear kids fucking losing it. Point me towards the gays. <laughs> Secure the border. <laughs> ah, little Jim Jam, you stop crying. That there's the good guy. Oh, there's, there's a side view of it, too. Yeah, it had like these fucking exposed oh, what lips. The fuck? Oh, it's God. So <laughs> oh, my Why? God. It's this fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> All the kids are screaming, and their parents are desperately trying to tell them that's the good guy, that's Jesus. <laughs> but he's Jesus. like, mer- here's Jesus, a Kingdom Hearts boss. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, he, he just get like Liam Neeson fucking- for fuck's sake. <laughs> but that fucking like play nobody. is the only place that's gonna hire him these yeah. days. Oh. <laughs> oh. To be fair, Liam Neeson would be welcome there. He would be very welcome. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I love that scene, the Phantom Menace, where you talk to Mace Windu and reach for your lightsaber. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Jesus fucking Christ. So yeah, like the play was really good. But the point Aslan came, there was a very, very sudden shift in the audience. <laughs> That's... Holy fuck, because why, the did kids, they, why are the ribs open? That's I don't know. Weird, that's like really weird. Yeah, it's like this weird, and like his face is like holes in it. He's like rotting. Yeah, the creature, de- like, the creature design oh. is really cool, but I don't think that's what they're going for. No. <laughs> it looks like it's fucking getting like the fucking. Uh, 
And it's like that's fucking. Weird and it's a really shit. a shift because like the cat when we saw it did look like a cat, and the horses are like they they look great. Like everything yeah, else was like those. very like was very like oh it looks it looks they look cute they look they look magical, and then fucking <laughs> emerges from the fog. <laughs> and we're just like what the fuck is happening. <laughs> Like I thought it was supposed to be Tash at first. I thought it was supposed to be like they're they're Muslim uh fucking evil god that C.S. Lewis wrote about. Like, oh yeah, the, the four armed bird thing. I think, I think it was a Tash, whatever it is. <laughs> and, but then this thing fucking lumbers out, and you know the ribs are exposed. It has like steam pouring off of it. You can't see the puppeteers at first because it's like bathed in fog and and smoke and shadow, and the kids are so flipping. It just looks shit. alive. Yeah, it looked <laughs> alive. And like it rears up, like you just see the rib cage, and it's like it's, it's like a fucking beast. It's like a wild animal. Do you think this was C.S. Lewis's step grandson's idea? I don't know how much input he had on it, but I know that the puppets mostly existed before he was like doing anything, because he was impressed by like a previous play, and he's like, "Oh, that's neat. I like their Aslan." <laughs> because they might have, they think they did another Narnia thing where they use the same creepy puppet but they didn't make it look I don't know if it's like just rotting from like being in the back or something or what's happening is it made of flesh how would that happen I didn't touch it I don't know <laughs> it looks they, say like... you could, they say you could touch the puppets at the end we're like we're leaving because <laughs> we're not touching the puppets <laughs> no touch the, pu- <laughs> touch the puppets become cursed so yeah, like we hear the parents desperately like whispering, like it's okay, it's cheese, it's okay, you know. And there's there's so many little like uh, like around us because <laughs> r- like I would be too. I was feeling that inside, looking at it because the boy's like, "Who are you?" I was the cat in the garden. I was the voice on the wind. I rendered the flesh of your friend. <laughs> Which he did because one of the characters like I was chased by lions and he cut me. But he's he's introducing this like, you know, Jesus is always there. He's always watching over you. I rendered the flesh of your friend. <laughs> touch I the am puppets. everywhere. Touch I the am pu- all. <laughs> We're just touch the puppets Jesus. and get sent to the sunken place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so like, even when he wasn't like sounding like he's about to smite this child on stage. He would always talk this really creepy whisper. It was just like, I'm Aslan. <laughs> he turned like fucking Igor. And we're just like, this is a really strange voice direction because the guy who voiced, voiced the horse was like, the talking horse. He's like, oh, we'll have an adventure and have fun. And I'm like, oh, he could have played Aslan. <laughs> could, have, could have dual parted, but we have possibly, possibly a smoking culture. technician just like, just fucking with people. You think the actor was sick? <laughs> no, because they choreographed it too. So I thought of that at first. So I was like, is this like a last minute thing? Because this is this is so bizarre. But it, no, it was choreographed because like would go <laughs> like the head would like shake around and stuff. <laughs> like it, it looked like an ant. Like, <laughs> it's like when you see those um like those old like when animals attack stuff, you see a clearly agitated animal about to go ape shit. Aslan was doing that a lot. (laughs) Yikes. And so, yeah. And then so after Aslan's appearance, like all the fog disappears. He's like, vengeance, death, fuck the gays. And then it gets off stage. Like the fog clears. And this lady comes out, this chipper lady. Okay, everyone, it's time for an intermission. (laughs) (laughs) And so, and then I realized it. I realized it was probably fucking genius because all of a sudden all these parents are rushing off to the side hallway to take their kids to the snack bar. And I was like, oh, that's why. Why they made really him is a fucking father, terrifying. Misty song. Yeah. It's like, ah, it's okay. I'll, I'll get, we're we're going to get, we're going to get a candy bar. We're going to get, we're going to get some popcorn. <laughs> come on, Caleb. Come on. We're going to get popcorn. You, want, you like popcorn? <laughs> and parents desperately getting their kids like little treats. To try to calm them down for this fucking traumatic experience with this <laughs> undead Dark Souls lion. <laughs> and it was working. <laughs> so many, so like every parent rushed off to the snack bar holding their terrified children. That's the perfect crime. That's fucking genius. 
because Holy watching shit. him just like, what the fuck? How are they doing this? And it's like, oh, th- that's why. Did he, was this he is part less of the, terrifying is, afterwards? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, mostly. Oh, I mean, he's still a, a rotting tree. Man. No, there, there was a point where he, um, yeah, when, when he came back, rest of play was fine. Aslan comes back once and he's like, you have served me well, horse, and you will be in the kingdom of Narnia. But then he confronts the main bad guy at the end. And I thought for sure, like, they were going to kill him in real life on stage because I, oh I didn't know what kind of play this was anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, Aslan, I will defy you. I spit on your name. And then Aslan actually, like, it sent a chill up my spine. It was so fucking terrifying. It was... <laughs> It turned into fire and brimstone. So he goes, Your doom is approaching rapidly. <laughs> and the guy's like still talking. Like, I just like, I want to be free. <laughs> Your doom is at the door. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, the fucking. Oh. Your fate is in great peril, infidel. <laughs> <laughs> Did and they like, fucking bring the out fucking, Aslan when they fucking you know, and the sound people like pumping out. up the bass. They're like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. they're like playing like these fucking like Max <laughs> Fury Road like war drums <laughs> as Aslan's <laughs> talking about how he's gonna rip him apart from the molecular level. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm at this point like me and Red are holding hands. We're we're preparing for this guy to actually die on stage. <laughs> and then he 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 goes Rah! and all the lights go out. <laughs> All of them are in pitch darkness. Oh my god. Kids are already crying again. (laughs) And the lights turn back on. He's fucking. It's no, he's not gone. The people on stage are going, ha 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 ha, and kind of laughing. Like, ha ha, look what Aslan did. What the fuck? (laughs) The villain has been turned into a donkey, which in the book, we read it as a book, it's very like whimsical. But he has like donkey ears and like they threw like a mask on him. So he's like a, a donkey, but he still has human limbs. He's crawling on all fours and he's making these really pained brays. So like, ha 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 ha. He's going. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's, none of the people in the eyes are no. laughing. He's like, ah! He's like, I have turned you into a donkey, and your form will remain in this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking terrifying. Is that what they did to the gaze at Arby's? I don't know. <laughs> but he's like, he's been transformed in like this really visceral, like fucking Cronenberg way. This really That's horrible man donkey. <laughs> Like, if you, if they're going to be cute, you know, you, you'd, like, put, like, you could have one on his hands and legs. Like, maybe put, like, some, some shit around his limbs so it looks like hooves. Put the funny mask and the tail on him and have him go, like, yeah. hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. Yeah, he's just, yeah. Not, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's just, like, wearing, like, big socks with fake hooves. Yeah, you, you make it funny. <laughs> they didn't do that. This play was entirely designed to scare kids about sinning. Maybe. Because he's like, you like can return to your form but you may never venture more than five miles from one of my temples, or your form will remain this way permanently. Oh, fucking and like, Christ. And people on stage are like, Jesus. ha ha ha, take this silly donkey to the temple. Ha ha ha, <laughs> let's lead him away. Ha ha ha, ha. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> We're sitting there fucking stunned by this. And then they do the, the happily ever after Mary. <laughs> the happily ever after ending. Like, oh, they so and so got married. They were friends. La, 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 la. The end. And they end on a very happy note. But I, I kept thinking mm-hmm. of the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about the donkey. That fucking. That play just sounds like swamp essence boiled into like performance. <laughs> And it wasn't, what's weird, it wasn't like the whole play was, oh, this is fucking weird. It's just like, oh, this is really good. But then, but then these moments the come. Fucking weird <laughs> moments. These, <laughs> these moments are really, really memorable. 
I left the theater and I turned around and the theater was yeah. gone. <laughs> it's like a bad creepy pasta. <laughs> Swallowed into the swamp. I looked back and it was an Arby's. <laughs> I looked back with my hyper-realistic eyes and an Arby's parking lot was there. <laughs> So the mud men were holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> so when the curtains finally dropped, and they're like, oh, that's a play. Thank you for coming. You can donate. At, da, 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 da. We have snacks still. Da, da, da. There's the auction. Da, 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 da. And you could come up and see the mechanical pup, like our, see our puppets, our amazing puppets and our amazing crew. And then. Jesus. And some kids did go up. And they had like the horses on like the the left side of the stage, and all the kids, some of the little, little kids like trying to pet them and stuff. <laughs> but when they're petting them, they're all looking over at Aslan. Aslan has no one petting him. <laughs> no, like there's like a few like cure like a few like male adults that are like hanging out by him, like kind of looking him over, like oh that's a neat puppet. The kids don't want to go near Aslan. Huh? Yeah. And, like weird. <laughs> And I see this one mom like pulling her child Forcing. by the arm. <laughs> she's she's like, "Come on, let's see Aslan." And he's like, he's not even standing anymore. He's like, his knees are dragging across the carpet. Oh my god! And he's just going, "I don't want to see Aslan." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And she's like, "Aslan won't hurt you if you're a good boy." Uh, and he's like. <laughs> He goes, I don't know if I am. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's it's so the mom, shit. It's so their mom's just like, well, when we go to Aslan, we'll find out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what this poor do? fucking kid's imagining his life as a donkey as he's being dragged to this puppet. <laughs> oh, my God. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, and so, and so we just kind of look at each other. We're like, let's see what's on auction. I kind of want Peter's sword. <laughs> <laughs> and then we look, it's like, oh, wait, the only things they're auctioning are the dwarf arrow and the dwarf dagger. And uh, I, get, I guess in the beginning when they have, like, their tags before they go on the train, like, they're wearing their, their war tags, you could buy one of those. And I was like, oh, fuck it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want any memorabilia from this night? No, I I hope she has the uh, the brochure somewhere. But other than that, no. Just memories that will never go away. Because no matter how hard you try. We're walking out and they have this huge image of the new theater they're making. It's gigantic <laughs> on like the screen. And they have like, this, this donation meter because I guess they're building it. Like, oh, it's already very far into construction, apparently. It's like, oh, yeah, someone already donated the land for free and we're building on it. And so I'm imagining, like, what are these people going to do with a higher budget? Like, Aslan will the, breathe fire. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I was about to say that exactly. Is Aslan going to breathe fire? Like, is someone going to die in the audience? They will pay. My Mandy, God. why don't you talk about. The Aslan play. <clears throat> yeah, so we realize that they've 100% heard the last podcast, yep. and they might listen to this one yep. it, without a what? doubt. Really? We, they, I, I had a feeling. Yeah. A hundred? I, I had a suspicion at first because they're like, they had the um they had the same pamphlet, but there were some alterations to it. Dr. Zayas was back, but the um his message wasn't quite as overt as last time. It had been toned down a little bit. Yeah, it wasn't learn the truth about uh, AIDS. It was learn the truth about autism. Yeah, it was only autism this time. They removed <laughs> a lot of stuff. They ju just autism. But when okay. they started the prayer, like, all right, let us pray. Dear, Dear Heavenly, Heavenly Father. Father. <laughs> <laughs> they were looking, oh. they're just like, what the? We're just like, what? There's no Aslan. And they yeah. didn't talk about the school in trouble or anything. They, they skipped all of that. No, they, what, but they, they had like a slight little like, oh, I still want to talk about this. Because we did. they <laughs> had a stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Yeah. And then after the Pledge of Allegiance, he said, isn't it great that we can still do the Pledge of Allegiance in this country, right? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, we got a few fans listening. Hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but they didn't talk about the school in spiritual trouble. And then like, yeah. They were done absorbing the gays. <laughs> I know that immediately after, like, two days after, you sent me a message, Mandy, and it was just like, 
<laughs> it's already starting and it was just a fucking fuckload of people reviewing four, the theater. These four yeah. really fucking good Google A, bu- a bunch yeah. of listeners were leaving really funny reviews, oh, actually. Dude. Yeah, I, dude... I knew some shit like that would happen. Holy I did fuck. too, but I didn't think it'd be so funny because people are <laughs> really they were still giving good. it really high scores. Just like, oh yeah, but there's this one weird part, you know, where where Aslan swallowed yeah. my gay son. I find him working at Chick Fil A a week later. <laughs> <laughs> Four out of five. Yeah. It was so fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, but the, like they recast a few people, but the play was like going as normal. But they they switched Aslan's reveal to being after the um the intermission. Because oh. before I was like, oh yeah, fucking terrifying Aslan comes out and like scares you to bring your kids to the snack bar. And they move that scene completely. <laughs> what? No way. No, it gets Aslan Dude, is, what is different. Hell? No way! They changed they the changed, puppet. They changed the puppet completely. <gasps> what? They carved Just a Dimitri. smile into his mouth. The, yeah. No way. They carved a smile into its mouth. The uh, uh the rib cage is covered up now and it's like solid. They plugged up holes in its head. They removed they t- like the leaf oh mane God. and it just like bark. And yeah, and they, they got totally heard the fucking yeah, and podcast. on its face, holy shit! And on its face, you have like a um, they it looks like they took like a, a big exacto knife and they carved like a big friendly smile onto it. <laughs> it's like the fucking like, Joker. it's smiling now. <laughs> and they and they had less cat puppeteers. Only had two. Oh yeah, they had uh, instead of like the fucking team, they only had two cat puppeteers. I could see the cat. I felt yeah. cheated. <laughs> we could all see the cat. And when they had oh, the donkey man. transformation scene instead of like the, the Cronenberg ah, ah, was going nuts. Cause I remember <laughs> in the last podcast is like, haha, it would be better if he just went, you know, like hee haw, hee haw. That's no exactly way. what he did. It's exactly what happened. That is exactly Holy what, fu- oh, they replaced that guy. You didn't talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. They, they recast they that, that guy. guy. They recast that actor. <laughs> yeah. They recast screaming donkey man. Now Mandy got someone <laughs> oh, fired. Oh God. Oh, fuck off. oh shit! But yeah, it For wasn't. Once I didn't do it. Yeah, it wasn't I'm like so they happy. fixed one thing. They fixed every like single, every single thing. thing. That it every was single everything. Thing Not even about. just in the play. The fucking program was changed. What they said before the play was changed. <laughs> the placement of intermission was changed. They changed. They re-recorded all of Aslan's lines. You yeah, didn't mention right. that. They I changed forgot that. about that. Yeah, yeah. he sounded less threatening. Point. He was like more gentle. What would he say? Like before, he'd be like, "Your doom is at the door." But like he still oh, he yeah. still did that. Still but did it wasn't that. as like Your doom is at the door. <laughs> it wasn't like that. It was more like gentle. Because it was the same guy, but he was like he was being more like kind of gentle. He'd be like, "I am Aslan, and I am here." He wasn't like, "I am Aslan." <laughs> He wasn't fucking Batman. Yeah, he wasn't Christian Bale Batman. Yeah. Like, they changed all his lines around. And we were just I walking out like, we, we were like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> they ha- There's no way they didn't listen to it. Yeah. Because they changed, it wasn't like, oh, they changed one or two. It was everything. Oh, do you want to talk it was about every single point? Why specifically we think they changed it? Because of the announcement they made at the end of the play? Oh. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Did they just go like, no, that. Fucking the Logos Theater is expanding and they're you moving. You seeing our play? Fuck PSD. to a new location, and I think they're really worried about being known as the weird cult theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like oh, we're getting a new, we're getting a new location, so we're here. Please, you know, if you enjoy the play, please leave a Google review or. A- <laughs> yeah, they they sent you an email. They that did. They that, sent right? they Several sent me emails. Three, yeah, like three emails. Yeah. So please leave a review because they're all stuff like. There was this part where Aslam's limbs came to the audience and swallowed all the children. <laughs> yeah. <Blood fun. laughs> <laughs> Fucking bloodborne. I mean, we could talk about how I tricked Avery at the airport immediately, but. Oh, yeah, we could talk about that. We could talk about the traps. Oh, the, the deafness at the restaurant. Oh, my God. There's so much. <laughs> there's a lot we that were, happened. Actually, fun, funny, funnily enough, when we were in the car. And you were driving me back to the airport after Colorado, Avery. You you straight up told me like Mandy's gonna pull something at the airport. Yeah, Mandy's gonna, I'm <laughs> so I said, fucking I said, glad. Mandy, Mandy's gonna fuck with me when I land. I, I know. know I'm it. so fucking. He glad called it. That- he 100 percent called it. And I, yeah. God, what did you do? Okay, you can tell <laughs> it. I'm okay. very excited to hear this. So, Avery and I really don't know what each other. I kind of know what he looked like, but I he he knew me from descriptions. And I was like, maybe he forgot. Was like you had a beard. Yeah, and I was like, I said he probably forgot. And so I brought Dimitri. Dimitri's a very large bear like man. Four. <laughs> he's six four in all directions. Yeah. He's, oh fu- he's fucking huge. 
And so I left a description of him, but I'm like, I'll be waiting for you at this area. And I had him go over there. <laughs> and so the thing is, I think Avery remembered what I actually look like a little yeah, bit I more did. because so I looked at him and I looked, he at, looked at me. Description. Yeah. He looked I at looked me. At- and he walked up to me, and I just looked up at him with a, a, this fucking blank expression, like I had no idea who he was. And I was he goes like, dying. "Yeah," and he goes like, "Oh," and he like turns around. <laughs> He's like looking around. He like looks at his phone. <laughs> like I'm sorry, sir. And then I see him. He goes up to Dimitri, but I'm like, I told Dimitri, "Don't fucking say anything because he'll know. He will, he'll know that's not my voice." And so Avery points at Dimitri. Dimitri just points at him. And they're just fucking pointing at each other. <laughs> they don't say anything. Jesus. And I'm like, okay, angle him so I can get behind Avery and I can like, you know, fucking fucking get him. I can sneak up on him. But he's not fucking angling him around. So then I just had to walk up and fucking slam my hands on his shoulders. But from the side, so he could clearly see me approaching. Yeah. I could clearly see him approaching. Also, he was dressed like Nintendo, which was a, which was a detail <laughs> he left out. What does out. that mean? You told me about that. That's he, exactly he a, what you it mean, said. It means buying a really shitty flannel. Yeah, I, I, that's exactly what I said to David. I was he, like, Mandy's going to exactly dress up like Nintendo, and then he's going to take me back to his apartment. It's going to be yes. the Nintendo set. Is that a nightmare of that? And you told me, and I was like, <laughs> you told me exactly that because we were while we were in the car, we were talking about Nintendo from some for some fucking reason, and you said, "Man, he's gonna dress like Nintendo at the airport." I cannot <laughs> believe right. you called it. And he was Holy right. Well, he said I had a nightmare that your your uh, your apartment was fuck. The Nintendo said, I, set. Yeah, I had a nightmare <laughs> apartment was the Nintendo set, set, and I immediately said, "Oh, I'm gonna buy a really oversized flannel now, just like one yeah. of those big, you know, checkered ones." Except it was fucking yeah. hot out. So I was also wearing like gym shorts and a t-shirt and it was like yeah. going down to my you fucking were- knees. It looked, I looked horrible, <laughs> but I, it, would, it would upset Avery. Oh man. He was wearing his epic graphic t-shirt and his flannel and his bright blue shorts. <laughs> it was very good. And then we took Avery, then we took Avery to a, uh, a Chinese restaurant. Oh, we should, I kind of want to point one thing out cause it was my immediate impression of uh, Mandy. Cause I assumed he would be a forest man. And when we get out of the uh, airport, we're driving down like a road. And if you walk 10 feet off the road in either direction, you're just in the woods. But you can see like three other roads at the same time. And Mandy just goes, God, I want to get out of this concrete nightmare. There's no <laughs> trees anywhere. <laughs> and he didn't fucking understand till later. I like, oh, this is going trees to- for you. I, yeah. So I thought, I thought because of everything that happened at the airport that this was some other layer of fucking with me that I didn't understand and I thought I was fucking dying anyways we were into the Chinese restaurant I guess context was that um I I had a back injury long story short they gave me some medicine that lowered my immunity and I got near infection both ears which was over by the time Avery came but my ears were still plugged up so I was effectively half deaf if not more than that I would say three quarters deaf. Yeah, Wait, three quarters. What is the, did the medicine for your back affect your ears? Is that it, what it was like a no. It was like an anti-inflammatory thing, and yeah, it was well, steroids. Yeah, and it lowered right, my immunity. Okay. And I had been like going to like a pool to like stretch things out, and like try to do some exercises, but ended up the water in my ears caused an ear infection that spread to both yeah. because my immunity was fucking shot. But so we're like, oh, we'll take we'll take Avery to a nice a nice Chinese restaurant. The thing is, yeah, I can't I remember half destroyed. of what I fucking said because only Avery heard it. <laughs> only Avery and Dimitri heard what I was saying. Well, the thing about the Chinese restaurant you took me to was it was a Chinese restaurant behind another restaurant off the road that was like this giant white stone building that had no windows and lion statues flanking the doors. Yeah. So I immediately thought I was about to be harvested for organs. Well, that's because Dimitri was talking about like cannibalism. He was talking about cannibalism over. while we were driving <laughs> over. He was like, have you heard of cannibals? Do you think they're real? (laughs) What? Yeah. It was like even cannibals. Personally, what do you think you would do when confronted by a cannibal? It was like pulp fiction, except there's like a grizzly bear like in the front seat turned around, like asking you how I feel about cannibalism and stuff. Yeah, like if I if there were humans that were raised specifically to be eaten, would I eat them? Probably. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's the manga. Sure. Yeah, he's like he's asking them all these questions about how you feel about cannibalism. And it's like, all right, now we're gonna pull up to the restaurant with no windows, the large stone Minecraft like building, white stone Minecraft building flanked by lion statues with giant heavy wooden doors, and then 
Mandy <laughs> open we open the door. Mandy walks in. The guy at the front goes, Oh, just three tonight? Like, oh, he recognizes him. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm definitely getting harvested for organs tonight. I guess I had a good ten days prior to this. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm good with the owner. But yeah, yeah. usually I come with like a larger group. So it's like, oh, just three tonight? Yeah. <laughs> he so looks then so he, fucking uh, uncertain. So, so we walk in and then uh, we walk through like the fucking lobby area, I guess. And then we go into the restaurant itself and nobody else is there. It is just us and maybe two other people eating in the entire restaurant. I mean, I mean what day was this? Like, maybe it was just like off maybe you should maybe, or maybe it's a front for something it, it like was a, it's harvesting. a very nice place it is a very nice place okay oh it would be nice yeah mm-hmm. it would be wouldn't it yeah anyways and so we were having conversations but the problem was i couldn't fucking hear <laughs> <laughs> the problem with that is i not only can i not hear i also can't gauge my own can't volume gauge well. His own volume level and in a very a near dead silent, very nice restaurant. <laughs> and I can't remember what I fucking said to what. I um, I said Dimitri asked me something. I don't remember the exact conversation, but I remember that what I said ended with "I was bored already." And then Mandy just whips his head around, looks me dead in the eyes, and yells, "What about the bored identity?" <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it was that loud, but yeah, it was. <laughs> it was, it was really fucking loud. The, the problem. Was, I know you know it was loud because you told me you saw fear in my eyes. When you yelled at me. Oh, that's right. Your eyes started fucking bugging out. Oh my god. Well, it got worse because like the owner saw me walk in and we're like, oh, we're with this our friend from out of town, and so he has like his staff being super attentive. Yeah, we and, have like, like four <laughs> waiters. Oh my god. But the problem was like. One would come across the table and look at me and be like, ah, blah, 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 and I'd, I'd stare at them and I'd like nod and then something would happen. <laughs> like I would get a refill I didn't want or like, are you, are you done, sir? Like <laughs> I just stare at them. <laughs> My favorite was, are you done, sir? Yes. <laughs> then they start, no, wait, it was you finished and they said, are you done, sir? And you said, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they just left, walked away. And you, were, and you were like, when are they going to take my plate? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, like, you want a refill? I was like, oh, no, thanks. And they just walk away. It's kind of disappointed that those fish antibiotics didn't work. He still had No, they them. did. Yeah, they, did they? The thing is, it just, the infection was gone, but just like when your ears, when your middle ear fills up with fluid, it can take like weeks to fucking drain How it. Did, okay. A genuine question. How did you get to the point where you thought that the fish antibiotics were the way to go? The same as the it, antibiotics it's, it's they the same. prescribe to you. It's amoxicillin. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. It's the exact same thing. But it's less expensive, I guess. Yeah, and the packaging also says for your beloved fish, fish all over it. No, specifically beloved pet fish. <sighs> it can help your it can help skin slash scales, lung slash gills. They're very overt about it, yeah. but they also deny Plausible. everything. Anyway, so flash forward us getting smashed every night that week. Oh yeah. Yeah. God. Uh, this is Avery's favorite part for some reason. <laughs> No, it's not my favorite part. And that was like Avery, by, that was like day four. Avery that just was just likes the, alcohol. That was, was just day the, four? Yeah, I'm talking about specifically when yeah. we it was day four. At a certain point I lost track of what time was. And every morning we would wake up trying to CSI like figure out what happened the night before, which we weren't cons- we weren't completely convinced ever happened. I think yeah. we watched to boldly flee one and a half times. I think so. Um, I think you. I think the only time I actually blacked one. out was watching Laser Team, but that's <laughs> that's later. Laser no, that's later in the timeline. That is not that's later true. in the timeline. That is not true because you don't remember setting any of the traps. But that was. Oh, the traps? You're right. Well, th- we're getting we're getting okay. to that. We're getting ahead of ourselves. I don't remember what the first night blacking out was. The first night we were like, "Wow, we're on such a good pace. This is great." Yeah, we were. Ta- I remember talking about it, like, "Wow, we're at such a good level." We were at it for hours. Just wow. I should say that this was my eleventh night of heavy drinking. Yeah, because <laughs> when, yeah. when we were in Colorado, yeah. like every night, every well, night, every night for you, because you night were the me, only person that breaks. wasn't sick as shit. Yeah. Like everybody, at I the did get fucking, sick. I just am not a quitter, I, dude. I, I've never been as sick as that in my life. Like that fucking morning when I got up and I couldn't even speak. Like holy fuck! Avery got sick a few times, but I think that's also later. Oh, that is <laughs> later. Shit. Also, that uh, was 
fucking we'll get into that yeah the after first why, night i don't even remember first was night trap, was trap day or ring wraith day before i don't trap remember day was before Tra- i think it's the same day oh you're right yeah you are right because traps traps was the morning after trap night yeah. We should, should, we, should we just skip to Trap Night? Yeah, just explain what Trap Night was, because okay, I don't... Okay, so... <laughs> Mandy, when he gets really... Okay, so... On the third day, when I, or fourth day, I don't remember, I think it was the fourth day. On the fourth morning, I'm waking up, I'm sitting in, like, on Mandy's couch, and there's, like, a... It's, like, a separated couch that's two chairs, and there's cup holders. Mm. And in the cup holder, there's just a glass of water. And I'm like, oh, thank God, I feel like fucking garbage right now and so i grab the glass of water and i lift it to my lips and i take a big old sip and it's straight vodka oh (laughs) (laughs) wait no it was a water bottle it it was a water bottle no it was a water water bottle bottle. i had a water bottle it wasn't even a glass because mandy had prepared mandy had thought about that i wouldn't trust a glass the next morning so i take a big old swig and it's straight vodka and i i swallow because i don't want to waste good vodka Crystal? Yeah, yeah, it was Crystal Head Vodka. Nice. Oh. Yeah. So it went down easy, but it was still startling. <laughs> and the for the and then I'm like, oh fucking gross. Jesus Christ. And then I like stand up and I look at the spot in the couch where I usually sit, and there's another water bottle there. And I'm like, ah, okay. So I walk over, I open that water bottle, I take a swig, <laughs> also straight vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking plant vodka everywhere around the apartment. And then we reached uh, and then I, I see that too at house parties, it's great. Yeah, and then I spent the I spent the next hour walking around like like opening every bottle of water, like opening every everything that wasn't sealed, sniffing it and going, "There's some vodka in that." <laughs> you just put vodka. And in then vodka? no, we I'm no. not even I'm not even at That's the best the worst one yet. Part. Also, knowing Mandy, I genuinely thought you were going to talk about how he set up bear traps around your room or something. Fuck no. That's what I, I was thinking as no. well in my head. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't shock me, but no. <laughs> but I fucking. And then after that hour, Mandy stumbles out of his bedroom and he's like, I don't remember not sleeping on the floor last night because yeah. that's, that happened a lot. Was Mandy sleeping on the floor because of his back? <laughs> oh, he yeah. lied on the floor a lot. But yeah, just um, during the day, he stumbles out. He stumbles Basically out and I tell him, I was straight. like, do you remember setting traps for me last night? And you were like, did that happen? Again? Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah, he's using it to myself. Yeah, usually he sets the traps for himself, but this time he had what? a victim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, drunk Mandy sets tries traps to keep for sober, sober me drunk. Yeah, so that drunk Mandy can take over. It's like a Jekyll and Hyde situation. <laughs> so what the fuck. <laughs> after we go through, and he hel- he starts helping me find all the vodka in everything, and then after like thirty minutes, we sit down and. We start watching. I forget what the fuck we started watching. We probably started watching Roar again. It was probably Nostalgia Critic or Roar. I don't. I don't know. At the same time, Who but knows? I remember. I remember the epiphany. Then after about thirty <clears throat> minutes of us sitting down and watching shit and just talking, he sits up like bolt upright and goes, "Have you had coffee this morning?" And I said, "No, not yet." And then he stands up. He walks over to the fucking Keurig in the kitchen, opens the water container on it, smells it. And then pours it out. (laughs) 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 Because he was trying to poison me with vodka coffee. Because what the fuck? because every morning Avery would have some coffee, and so drunk me was like, ha ha ha, he'll go to make coffee. <laughs> he'll never expect it in the coffee, even after he finds out about the water bottles. That even like, make. What, I don't remember setting work? any of them. Yeah, it would work because the water would, would, would probably fuck up but the coffee maker, boil? but... Yeah. <laughs> we reached the if point... If you boil alcohol, doesn't it just, like... It doesn't, there, like... Oh, knows? no, I don't... I think I'm going to stop myself yeah. before Hold I up. say something I, that makes no sense. I might no microwave, like, liquor later, but yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> we, um... But it's not the same as boiling. We fucking reached... Can a, you boil? After... Okay. 30 minutes after we made that discovery, we were both sitting and then we looked at each other and we were like, I feel so fucking sick and or drunk and I don't know what's happening. (laughs) For context, Mandy has a fucking air filter in his apartment. Shut the fuck up. You did not do that. (laughs) (laughs) 
trying to fucking kill yourself? What oh the my fuck? God. I can't remember any of it. <laughs> <laughs> you were just breathing in fucking. So we were waking up. Did you hotbox box with liquor? <laughs> <laughs> We were up and drunk against our own will in the morning. <laughs> oh, my what the fucking... fuck? <laughs> That's fucking dangerous as shit. <laughs> that, I'm not going to say that because I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of into that I'm... and I want to try that at some point. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are so fucking fuck. insane. It doesn't get you that fucked. It just makes you feel kind of ill. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and then it's it like, gets wow, kind of sick. You're just selling me on this. Keep talking. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, because that's why I became the ring wraith. Yeah. So at this point, we were like, "Well, we're already drunk." <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking. You try to drink water, keep tasting vodka. I think I suspected the tap at one point. <laughs> Oh my Nothing God. in the entire fucking apartment was safe. Are you sniffing like an orange juice bottle or something? <laughs> I did you went to get some juice and you were like, I, I had to know. check. I didn't know if you made a really weak screwdriver. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, the orange juice container. Yeah. And it was. It was the a juice container. Yeah. The orange I like juice that you were, making, you were making fun of me for sniffing the orange juice when it was a giant screwdriver. <laughs> yeah. Is but a screwdriver? That ended up. The screwdriver yeah. is vodka and orange juice. Oh. oh, I thought you were talking about like trying to lockpick something. Yeah, no, I was no, like, no, what no, the no. fuck are you talking about? I didn't know screwdriver was a drink. Well, I I know what vodka orange juice is, but I just call it vodka orange juice. The screwdriver got me later, but it did because no. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, after I warned you. Yeah. Oh, we didn't talk about your carbonation Darth Vader chamber. When you're drunk, how do you even <laughs> set up these traps? I when I get drunk, I just I can't get off my ass at oh, all. Oh no, no, that's definitely like doable. When no, you're drunk. what happens is like the last thing I remember is like being on the floor, and then I wake up later, and, and I've done something. Yeah. <laughs> at some point, I got back up. You're asking. <laughs> you're asking down. the wrong person. Wait for Mandy to get fucking blasted, and then ask him because that Mandy might know. <laughs> yeah. And so then we had just ordered Chinese. We did order Chinese again from a different place. Yeah. Yeah. So we while we were ordering Chinese, <laughs> it's just it's not that funny. It was just such a fucking funny visual. It's uh Dimitri comes back over and uh he brings snacks and we go more and booze. buy more booze at some point. I don't remember when that happened. All I know is we bought it out of a warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we went, we went twice, didn't we, with you? We did go twice. Yeah, yeah. because the lady recognized us. She's yeah. like, wow, you boys are back already. <laughs> <laughs> we were buying a lot of booze. Um, and then, I don't remember which day that was, but Dimitri's back, and we're talking about ordering Chinese food. And Mandy, at one point, I, I, I'm like... Hang on, Avery, I have to stop you. I need context for who Dimitri is. Dimitri's Mandy's Is this like a bodyguard? Okay, okay. Is this a bodyguard? He, he's, just imagine a, just picture a grizzly bear like an actual yeah that's bear. what I was thinking it was yeah. like your bodyguard or something I don't know yeah and imagine yeah. a man why not imagine a man as tall as you but really fucking wide so me sure. yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah ladies so um no fucking Dimitri is back over and he brought a bunch of snacks but we had to order Chinese food for dinner and just at some point. Man, I just hear Mandy say, I'm going to order it online. I don't want to fucking talk to anybody. Oh. And I look, over, I look over at him, and he's bent over the armrest of the couch, covered in a blanket, looking like a ring ring. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just start fucking crying. Because <laughs> he didn't even realize. I said, no. why are you a fucking ring ring? And he just went... Fuck. <laughs> it was a bad day. It was such a great day. And then uh, let no that, that was the next night when the big event was Avery going, haha, let's watch laser team. <laughs> and, and we each had a screwdriver and I just said, you know what, I'll destroy mine. And then I looked at him expectantly, like, are you gonna finish yours? <laughs> it was like 90% vodka. No, that wasn't what it was. You carbonated fucking Kraken. That's what? right. You carbonated <laughs> with a f what? with one of those fucking the Darth the Darth Vader machine. 
Yeah, Talk, okay, just, explain the Darth okay. Vader machine I, oh, with like a soda stream. I have a, uh, yeah, yeah, I have like a soda stream, like a drink carbonator. Yeah. But the thing is, we were like, we were just mixing stuff. They were going, ha ha, let's carbonate it. <laughs> no, I wasn't doing that. Don't the say thing, I was doing that. <laughs> but, the, but the thing is, like, we started calling it the Star Wars machine because it made this really ominous fucking hiss when it was done. And then the bottle would fog up and like strange clouds that emerge from the bottle strange so then wow. like me and dimitri just saying star wars quotes is like we're like i'm your father <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd pour it and drink it and something bad would happen every time how so he poured a th- well we, a we bought really of- smooth vodka let's carbonate it yeah that happened why would you do that <laughs> there was also how the was point it? where it was it was worse Does carbonating it do anything to it carbonated vodka makes it much harder to drink that's what we learned yep does it make it stronger nope no (laughs) then what's the point we just thought it was funny (laughs) yeah some some of us thought it was funny (laughs) i mean we've found good mixes like wow if you carbonate some kraken put some vodka and then put some baileys like we were just it's like a little chemistry set (laughs) that's not true you carbonated the kraken poured it into a glass then downed the entire thing poured me one and looked at me like i was about to do the same wait wait wait, wait, wait. (laughs) did you say you carbonated fucking milk no kraken no kraken oh i thought you carbonated (laughs) fucking baileys i was like you're a freak (laughs) baileys has milk that's horrible well it's a cream Oh, we had rum right? shada at one point that Dimitri we did have brought. rum shada. Yeah, we mixed Please it with ten penny rum and it was it. delicious. Yeah, ten penny rum and rum shada mix really well together. That shit's good. Yeah, that's okay. fair. No, that, that was mainly it. it's like wow, we had a great time with Creel. There's just there's just that one weird part where his daughter tried to throw <laughs> my insurance card in the fireplace. <laughs> like wow, his family's cool. And then we drove back and my spine popped the oh, whole way. Oh, we didn't way. talk about the time when Dimitri was over and we all got really fucking drunk. And then at you, some you point, specify? yeah, okay, I know. Listen, it was like three. Which time? Okay, which time was this? This was got? the time when you start. You and Dimitri started watching my no my No Man's Sky video. Oh yeah, <laughs> actually, I didn't tell you this. This is this is a, a pot. This is oh, a podcast no. exclusive. Ooh. I found a video on my phone, but you can't actually see you because you're covered by a blanket. <laughs> and it's uh because we were watching. His, Avery was passed out underneath a blanket. <laughs> We were watching a Snowman Sky review, but we were both like giving critiques they and were like talking comments to and me praise. The entire time. Yeah, like you should be like, "Wow, that was such a good joke, Avery," and Avery's yeah, like was... snoring under a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, earlier in that same night, I don't have any memory of this, but I know that earlier in that same the pizza. night, yeah, I I went out, I went over, and I grabbed a trash can and put it next to me for a bit, and I was just having a conversation with Dimitri, leaned over the armrest vomited into the trash can leaned back over and continued my sentence <laughs> oh no there was a part where um he was eating pizza and he went he's like yeah did he show? and he started throwing up the trash can they like wiped his mouth and leaned and started <laughs> fucking eating more pizza <laughs> What the fuck, oh, man? Jesus Christ. It was when you when you ordered that pizza, you and Dimitri get up to go stumble over to the door and get it. Oh Both no, of I you forgot. together. Like you, <laughs> like you needed backup. That's right. And the pizza guy asks how how y'all doing tonight? And then Mandy just goes, I'm pretty fucked to be honest. <laughs> And then Mandy gives him a forty dollar tip on accident. Oh <laughs> my fucking god, Mandy! You made I mean, that guy's day. Well, I was like, I think it was like about twenty bucks or so, but I had like cash and I only carry twenties, and so it's like, uh, this looks like enough. <laughs> it's like it's sixty dollars. <laughs> and then another Pretty night, fucked. To be well, that was Domino's night, and then yeah. Oh no, the exclusive is um. Uh, there's a video on my phone of us, I mean, Dimitri drunkly going, show me on the TV, show me on the couch. <laughs> but you're just covered with a blanket and snoring. <laughs> I have that on my phone. Because, <laughs> like, it's just like the little owl talking to the screen. Like, we pan over and it's just like the snoring blanket mound. <laughs> <laughs> Such an awful week. <laughs> It's such a good time. <laughs> I remember like six hours of the entire time I was there. Because 
Oh yeah, Papa John's night was the really bad Papa night. Papa John's <laughs> night was the really bad night because you told me you were ordering pizza from some local place. Yeah, but then they turned out to be closed, so I went, what else is open? And then you're eating it. You're like, wait. I, I was. I well, was, what made funny is that <laughs> you open the Papa John's box and you're eating slices. Then later you're like, wait. You like pull the lid down. Is this Papa John's? <laughs> because I started feeling sick. <laughs> That's when I realized. Wait, Papa John's so, is still around? I thought they yeah. closed down after the no. whole bigot thing. No, no. no they're huge. Uh, the 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 <laughs> the the lore behind Papa John's pizza is that for some fucking reason I can't eat Papa John's pizza because every time I eat Papa John's I will vomit at some point. I think it wasn't like we got something crazy. We got like che- a yeah, cheese. Yeah, I had pizza fucking. Like a- I don't remember it was like what a I had. nothing pizza. Mine was just like cheese, yeah. To me, she had like a barbecue chicken, I think. Oh, I, I had remember. a barbecue chicken, oh, yeah. Shout out to barbecue chicken. Fuck, yeah. I, I, thought, I thought somebody was going to join the cheese no. brigade. Go on. No, but what happened was like, th- because Avery wasn't that drunk yet, he just kind of kept kept the trash can between his legs. He just throw up into it occasionally in the middle of conversation. <laughs> yeah. We just keep talking. Yeah. No one thought anything of it. And then we watched Scorpion Thunderbolt one night. Oh, we did. Do oh that. my God! <laughs> I have no yeah. idea. What that is. The best fucking movie. Dimitri oh. fucking drank for the witch. Yeah, every time the witch appeared, <laughs> Dimitri drank. Dimitri died. <laughs> dude, it, we, that we tried movie to stop is so him. fucking good, dude. Don't oh. fucking drink for the witch. I'm gonna drink for the witch. David, can you imagine? I'm gonna drink for Chad. I'm gonna drink for the lizard. Yeah, he drank oh. for Chad, the witch, and the lizard, David. And I need you. To- to oh, know that that's like he wasn't drinking beer, s- David. He was drinking, he was drinking oh, crack. He was drinking forty-five percent rum. We didn't Dude, have any like, beer that whole week. What, what, we what had was that? Hard Blood liquor. Diamond? No, it's called Scorpion, Scorpion Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Okay, Scorpion. it's a fucking. It's an amazing B movie. Don't if you don't watch. Tell a weird sleepover story. Yeah, I went oh to, yeah. I what's a fuck? What's a weird kid's name? I never like to use real names for these things. Clement, just in case. Clement, Blaine, Blaine. Clement. Oh, Blaine, Blaine is good. Blaine, Blaine is syllable. really good. Blaine is also yeah. a weird kid. I had a sleepover with, so this works. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I, I was made like nine or ten. Fuck, how? Yeah, probably about nine or ten. And this wasn't even like my choice. This was like a your mom's our friends, and then like a sleepover happens. Oh uh, yeah. She's like, you're gonna you're gonna sleep over at Blaine's house this weekend, and I went okay. My mom was like, you have to understand, like he's up, like Blaine has always been a little like he's he's had trouble making friends, you know. Ever since his parents got divorced, he's had a lot of anger. I'm like, Whoa. oh okay. <laughs> boy. And in retrospect, I realized this made some sense because um, we were just playing like Gold Nine the N64 for a while, and everything was okay. And then he goes, let's play upstairs, and I went okay. You know how like in um in every nineties like or eighties children's movie the child has like an enormous fucking bedroom? Yeah. It was like that. And at first I thought that was his bedroom, but it was like it was a really nice, like big room with like a a single window at the end to let light in. Hardwood floor. The thing was this was probably the dad's office before like he went wherever he did. Oh. Because the whole room <laughs> was enormous. But empty, except for two items. In the left corner, there was a box filled with connects. And in the middle of the room was a Rock'em Sock'em, like, robots set. Which, if you don't know what that is, it's like a little, um, it's like a little punching game where you have, like, a little controller. It's like 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 real steel. People don't know what that is. Yeah, and you, you, you fucking mash the button and pop the other one's head off. It was a fucking small soldier's one. So it was just oh, like, yeah. yo, that's kind of sick. <laughs> it was, the, it was the, the archer, like furry man. And then um, Tommy Lee Jones soldier. And that's in the middle of the room. He's like, come on, let's play. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Okay." laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so we just sit in the middle of this huge fucking room playing this Rock'em Sock'em Robots thing. And it's like, it, everything we say is like echoing <laughs> because the room is what? so big. <laughs> and <laughs> we're playing with the same for like three hours. And he's really loving it. And he goes, okay. And like, I don't even remember what we had for dinner. It was like, she had like, we had like hot dogs or something. But I remember he's like, okay, time for sleep. We went into his bedroom, which was directly across from the cathedral with the connects in it that we never touched. The cathedral? (laughs) It was so big. (laughs) Like the rooms, the house were pretty tiny, except for this one freakish room on the second floor. And his room, his actual room was possibly a walk-in closet 
or some sort of storage room for this huge room because in it he had like he had like a, some windows in the wall he had a bed barely enough room like to walk to the bed on the floor and directly like in front of the walking area was a tank with a huge fucking snapping turtle in it oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And and I mean like when I say too big for the container, the edges of the shell were like fucking touching the glass on both sides. <laughs> like this was clearly a turtle he had found. So parents thought it would be like a um like a box turtle. And so they got a container for one, but oh, it would, had hugely outgrown it. And when it would turn, the fucking glass would loudly creak. Oh, and, and Blaine no. would be like, oh, that's just that's just Sammy moving around. And I'm noticing the top panes of the glass. They're like they're like bending outwards a little bit like it's out. The glass is partially out of the frame. That's so sad. No, no, it gets worse. He's like, oh, yeah, like he does. No, it. <laughs> what no, because it's out and he goes, oh, yeah, like the glass breaks a little bit. Like, you know, sometimes he sometimes he's escaped. We just put him back in there. Oh, and I'm like, oh, okay. But what I realized laying on the floor is that, oh, when it's escaped, because it's like kind of on like this shelf, it probably like breaks, it shatters out of like his little, his little habitat. And he goes onto the floor and he doesn't have much like space to fuck around with really. He either runs to the cathedral room or he's like, is here on the floor in the walkway. And I'm supposed to sleep on the floor next to his bed. And I realized looking up at this, that there's a snapping turtle glaring down at me and that he could probably escape at any time he wants. And I'm on the floor. Oh my God. Was it like an alligator snapper? I, I don't know. It was so long ago, but it was just like, it, it was huge and clearly evil. Like <laughs> he, had, he had probably gotten deranged from his time in captivity. Yeah, there. probably. But it's, it was realizing on the floor it's like trying to sleep at oh wait when it breaks out it lands right where I'm laying <laughs> and so I looked up at it and it's like looking down at me and I'm staring up at it and now I'm terrified because I don't want to get up because I don't know if that'll provoke it and the door is like to the <laughs> left of it so if I try to leave I have to walk past it and it's staring at me and I start hearing <laughs> no <laughs> I the glass is starting to push outward and I'm like holy shit Play. He's fucking snoring. And then the creaking stops and it's still staring at me. And water's like leaking out of its little container. Oh my fucking god. And it's like dripping onto my foot. And I realize if I like startle this thing, it might like thrash around and like collapse on top of me. And it will it'll just start biting me and it'll kill me. Because once it starts biting me, it just won't stop. I'm nine. I don't know how to deal with a fucking snapping turtle. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, it bites you until it kills you. That's how they. That's how they work. <laughs> so I'm just saying, their foot feels like hours, just staring at this turtle as it's like pushing against the glass, which is starting to come out and out more at an angle, and is clearly about to flop over, and it's going to fall on me. <laughs> I'm just like, holy fuck, what do I do? And so I start. I pull my feet up and I start bawling myself out like myself up and I don't know what to do. So I'm like, Oh, I got it. And I stand up as fast as I can. And I fucking punch Blaine in the face. (laughs) (laughs) And, And he starts screaming. I jump on the bed. The turtle habitat falls over. The turtle runs out and he's like, ah, and he's screaming and I start screaming too because I'm seeing the turtle like coming out the turtle's loose <laughs> <laughs> his mom runs upstairs she sees that like the thing is knocked over the turtle's loose and he's screaming and so she's like no I'll take care of it like don't worry we'll get we'll get the we'll get the turtle tool we'll get the turtle tool I'm like, what the, the fuck turtle is the turtle tool, tool? <laughs> what the fuck I don't know how to describe this fucking apparatus she comes back with it's some fucking nutty professor Swiffer looking crab claw that she's it's clearly been fashioned out of like broken cleaning materials and she fucking snatches it up like a crab and, and just like is flipping it like a fucking burger in the air. <laughs> I'm so thrown off by what's happening because she's just like turning this turtle over and over again, like upside down, right side up. She's like, don't worry, what I'm just disorienting fuck? him. What <laughs> <I'm okay." laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck? Don't worry, I'm just disorienting that is, him. Yes. That is so. That is so much. Yeah, I this don't know what's happening. Lot. He's still screaming, I'm and then she's like, it. and then she goes. I'm so mad. She goes, oh, it's okay. What? It's like, we'll put Blaine out in his habitat in the backyard for a while. And I... It's like, Blaine? So, pardon me, not Blaine. Whatever. The t- okay. Yeah, the I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to put Blaine out there. That would have been way worse. <laughs> we'll put, this is the turtle's room. You're just allowed to be in here. It might as well have been. <laughs> so, yeah, she's like, we'll put Mr. Turtle's habitat in the backyard for a while. And then, like, I'm back on the floor, and the turtle's gone, so I'm like, fine. And Blaine's sitting there, and then he starts crying, and he's like, why would the turtle do that to me? <laughs> he he was convinced it had bit him, like, in the face that he was sleeping. <laughs> I don't say a fucking word. And the next day, the turtle, when I'm going to leave, I look like, dude, they have, like, a sliding glass door. I look out back. The turtle has a huge fucking habitat out there. It looks like it's made for a dog, like with a little pond and everything. And it's just like sitting on the edge of it completely fine. It had like more room than you would need for a turtle. And it's just like, for whatever reason, he sometimes just liked having it in his little box so he could look at it and it would get pissed and try to break out to go back down there. (laughs) Wow. But I couldn't deal with stairs, so just run into the cathedral and fuck around with the connects. And you I was can't sleeping touch the in connects. His- Those are <laughs> Mr. Turtles. Yes. And I was sleeping in his fucking toll lane. Like, I slept on the road he uses the lead. I'm- <laughs> oh my god. Because uh fucking people who are from the south. I'm gonna post an alligator snapper because this is what I've been picturing as the turtle for the entire time. And it makes the story so much better. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my Wait, god, that's was a an monster. alligator snapper! They, it was fucking huge. Oh my god! I thought, I, like I said, the fucking glass was like making a scraping sound whenever it moved, and it would just like lean against it and break out. Oh my god! Oh my god. He should not he have had, had a kaiju was, in his room in a glass cage. <laughs> there was room for the bed, the turtle, and the turtle's road, and that was it. Holy shit! I slept where it got out, where it would flop out. I would assume every night to try and escape. And it would just go into the one empty room, so it would be no problem, because it's like, where can it hide? It's either in the connects or behind... No, it, it couldn't hide behind the rock or something. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking monster. It's literally it, it was like the kind of. It was like a joke you'd see in a cartoon, like, oh, like, that's that's fluffy. That's his little cage, when it's like, it can just, like, move its arm and break out of it. That's what it was like. It was just sitting there with, like, this little is, pond to stick its foot into. This is a lot. This is so much... I guess it liked the heat lamp. That's like the only reason it didn't like break out all the time was because like it would sit there and then go, okay, I'm warm. And then it would just fucking leave. <laughs> Except this time, like the fact that he started, it, the Blaine started screaming was enough to make his mom come up instead of just hearing like the nightly <laughs> when like it fell, falls over. <laughs> oh this God. time she heard screaming. So it's like, I wonder if the dad left because of the turtle. <laughs> are, you, are, are you confident the that the dad left and wasn't just gone? <laughs> <laughs> like the turtle got him. <laughs> I don't know. That's why the boy was screaming. Why would he do this to me? This is like a fucking A twenty four movie. Like you have a relationship loss, and you just like start fixating onto this like fucking kaiju. Oh my god! You have to get over your wife's death. The turtle's not a replacement. <laughs> it's clearly a monster. <laughs> you have to get over this in a healthy way. That, Cameron, that was his entertainment. Dude, Cameron was, would fucking <laughs> love that. Fucking N64 connects small soldiers rock'em sock'em and monster turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the entertainment.